What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 7P. Chapter 121 The tornado gets on the boat and shots the golden lion flying. Advertise here. Too weak. The green-haired Sunere little lowly scoffed dismissively. The strong wind blew up her slit skirt, but no matter how strong the wind was, it still couldn't completely lift her skirt. Flying in the air, she slowly landed on the ground. In front of her, a woman with a strong figure and a beautiful face was sitting halfway on the ground. The long green dress on her body was in tatters, and her entire back was exposed. Silky bloodline. This beauty looked at little Lolita with complicated eyes, with envy and jealousy in her eyes, but also indignation. This is a monster at the peak of the ghost level. Do you think everyone is as pervert as you? The woman with a strong body said angrily. It turned out that what little Loli said was too weak, she really laughed at this beauty. Ghost level peak, there was deep disdain in little Lolita's eyes, and she even regretted that she made the move. There's no need for her to do this kind of thing herself. If it weren't for the beauty in front of her, she wouldn't have come. I said Fushui, can't you work harder? My sister is very busy. Little Lolita said dissatisfiedly to the beauty in front of her, calling herself sister. Just looking at her figure and appearance, she is definitely a younger sister. Yu, Chushui was dissatisfied, but he couldn't find anything to refute. As sisters, the talent gap between the two of them is too great. This also led to a gulf between the strengths of the two. Oh, I didn't expect it to be this world. Su Mu sighed with a smile, he is still very familiar with the world selected by the system this time. He is also very familiar with the two women who appeared behind the door built by the power of summoning. Tornado and blowing snow. A pair of sisters. The elder sister is a Lolita with a proud personality, and the younger sister is a royal sister with a brash mentality. Each has its own characteristics, all of which are, so exciting. But, who is the system going to summon this time? Tornado. Or blowing snow. For LSP, of course Fubuki is the choice. After all, the summoned people absolutely obey their orders. At that time, no matter what order she has, she will willingly agree. Tut tut. Of course, for Su Mu, he is more willing to choose the dragon role. After all, how can those few seconds of happiness be compared with the resurrection of the D family and the resurrection of relatives? Besides, isn't the cute and arrogant Loli very interesting? Especially the strength of the tornado is a powerful boost to him. All of this will be revealed by the system. Ding, establish contact with the summoned person. Ding, the connection with the summoner has been established. In Su Emu's mind, the voice of the system sounded. In the world behind the gate of summoning, the green-haired Sunere Loli turned around and seemed to be able to see the gate of summoning, Su Mu and others. She stared with curious big eyes, as if it was hard to believe the information injected into her mind by the system just now, and the control over part of her consciousness. The moment he turned around and looked over, Su Mu already had the answer in his heart. Tornado. The person summoned by the system this time is Tornado. That trembling tornado, powerful telekinetic power is her unique skill. Are you calling me, Captain Su Mu? Tornado said, and the voice was able to be transmitted to this world. Presumably, this is the masterpiece of the system. And Tornado directly called Su Mu the captain, that is to say, the system instilled all information into Tornado's mind, including her unconditional obedience to Su Mu's orders. In this way, it is much more convenient for her to communicate with Su Mu, and she has to explain it to her. That's right, you are welcome to come over, Tornado, the second-ranked S-level hero. Su Mu grinned happily and greeted the green-haired Sunere little lowly Tornado. Wrong. In the entire association of heroes, except for the guy who exploded, I am the boss. Tornado spoke very loudly, and corrected Su Emu's introduction to her, as if the Sunere disease had happened again. Ha ha. Actually, there is a bald head who is much stronger than you. But he is not among the S-class heroes. Su Mu teased. Bald head. Tornado thought suspiciously. After thinking about it, it seems that in the heroes association, I only saw a young and bald head who spoke rudely to her. That guy is just an A-level hero, far worse than himself. Are you talking about the dead fish-eyed bald head? Yano's master. Tornado asked. Oh. You found out. Su Mu was surprised. Could it be that Saitama's strength was exposed in front of everyone? TCH, just a boring little person. Long Wan showed her arrogant expression again, appearing dismissive. She turned around, looked at the stunned face behind her, and looked at her younger sister, who was talking to the air, and said. I'm going on a long trip, take care of yourself and don't be brave. She turned around again and walked towards the summoning door. When she reached the door, she seemed to remember something, and said to her sister behind her, Remember to tell the Heroes Association that I and the guy who exploded are temporarily listed as missing persons, but I still will be back. After all, Tornado stepped into the gate of summoning, and disappeared out of thin air. Come, come, Su Mu shouted excitedly. Everyone also stared nervously at the gate of summoning, watching the tornado coming from another world. The tornado officially appeared in the world of pirates through the gate of summoning. Behind her, the gate of summoning disappeared, announcing that the summoning was successful. This little guy, makes you so excited. 
Golden Lion looked at Su Mu in surprise. And he looked at Su Mu and found that Su Mu didn't stop him from laughing at the tornado. Because of the restrictions of the rules of this world, some powerful people were summoned, but they could not exert their full strength. Comma 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 comma. Although he saw another world, Tornado asked for instructions to kill a monster, but he didn't feel the power of that monster at all. Congratulations to the big guys who guessed it right. The reward is that you can propose a character you like, and I will summon it in combination with the plot. If there is a special plot that you want to appear, you can also say so. Finally, I would like to ask for a gift, which is pitiful recently, thank you. Therefore, Su Mu is planning how to test the strength of the tornado. After all, tornado was summoned, but how strong is she? Mind power. Sure enough, the tornado glowed all over, and an inexplicable power bloomed from her body. And Golden Lion really understands Su Mu too well. At the peak of the ghost level, there is not much difference from the monster that has just entered the dragon level, and it is much stronger than the beast he raised. With his ridicule, it seems that this test does not require Su Mu to plan or take action at all. You lion looks down on me. Tornado squinted. Jayahaha. It's not that I look down on you, it's that I don't like you at all. You look so weak and weak, you can't do anything here, and you're an extra burden. Golden Lion continued to sneer. That is a power that this world has never had. Anyway, what can a little lowly do to him? In this regard, Su Mu really will not stop, but even more excited. As soon as she waved her hand, a powerful telekinetic power came in an instant. Such an invisible hurricane directly blasted on the Golden Lion, and sent the Golden Lion, who was still laughing and not closing his mouth, flying away, and disappeared from everyone's sight in an instant. Chapter 122 Temper Temper Tornado, Power of Thought Advertise here. This picture is weird. A powerful and burly guy like Golden Lion was still laughing loudly when he was suddenly sent flying by an invisible force, and disappeared into the sight of everyone in a big spinning shape. This force was invisible and silent, fast and violent, and the hairs on everyone's hairs burst out of shock. What kind of ability is this? Whitebeard asked Su Mu in shock. He just saw that the tornado waved his hand, and the mighty Golden Lion was sent flying with a bang. Su Mu pointed to his head and smiled at Whitebeard. Conqueror's hockey. Whitebeard tentatively answered, then shook his head immediately. Not even the redhead's powerful, solid conqueror's hockey could have done that. Golden Lion, but a powerhouse as famous as him. Spiritual, Whitebeard asked tentatively. Su Mu nodded temporarily. Psychic power is almost the same as spiritual power. It's just that the telekinetic power is more special, and can be directly externalized into power to attack. And mental power is more of an effect on the spiritual side. Spirit can have such great power. Rocks couldn't believe it. This is a miracle that has never appeared in this world. But in front of them, a little lowly summon from another world actually has it. How to defend against this kind of power? They are completely dumbfounded. If they were replaced by Golden Lion, facing the situation just now, they might also be shot away. The unknown mysterious power is often hard to guard against. Ha ha, it's good to teach this guy Golden Lion a lesson. Su Mu laughed out loud, feeling extremely happy in her heart. Because the telekinetic power displayed by the tornado just now was weakened a lot by this world, but at least he was very satisfied. Wait a while to see the Golden Lion's injury, and you will know what kind of damage this telekinetic power can cause. Tone Wan, I've taught that guy a lesson, don't be angry, I'll play with you later. Su Mu rubbed the green wavy hair of Tornado. Long Wan rolled his eyes at him, as if expressing his dissatisfaction with the head-to-head -head killing. Everyone, let me introduce, this, little sister, her name is Dragon Wan, she comes from another world, and she will be our companion from now on. As you have seen, her ability is very special and powerful, and she is of great importance to us. Su Mu formally introduced to everyone. Welcome, welcome. Everyone smiled and greeted this little lowly, and no one despised her anymore. Monet and Ain just ran over from behind and greeted Tornado warmly. After all, they were the two girls on board for a long time, and it seemed too lonely. Now finally came another cute little lowly. They didn't see the scene just now, but just came from the beach. Looking at the tornado, Monet felt cute, full of motherhood, pinching the tornado's chubby face, and rubbing her hair. Boom. Without a sound, Monet was shot flying and followed the Golden Lion. However, Su Mu could see that the tornado only used a small force, otherwise Monet would not be able to hold it. Su Mu didn't chase Monet to save her. She has wings and can fly, just like Golden Lion. It's really, a bad temper. Rayleigh's mouth twitched and he muttered. Boom. Rayleigh flew out, much faster than Monet. Seeing this scene, everyone hurriedly shut their mouths and stopped talking about her. The bad-tempered Loli is so terrifying. If you don't like it, you will shoot people away. This invisible attack confuses them, and they have no countermeasures yet, so they are not in trouble for the time being. After a while, the Golden Lion returns with Monet and Rayleigh. Golden Lion's clothes are tattered, there is a big hole in his chest, and his mouth is full of blood. Rayleigh was slightly better than him, but also looked like a mess. But Monet was terrified, her proud weapon disappeared immediately, and she was smashed flat, and she still couldn't recover automatically. 
But she didn't worry too much, because the healing room of the resurrection can make it recover. It's just that this kind of bad-tempered lowly makes her very afraid. Bastard, what is your ability? Golden Lion returned to the resurrection, very angry. He was blown away unprepared, several ribs were broken, the pain was too much, and his face was even more painful, because he saw Whitebeard and others cast gloating glances at him. Tornado squinted, snorted coldly, and didn't bother to pay attention to Golden Lion. You, wait for me. Golden Lion hurried to the healing room, he wanted to recover from the injuries on his body, and then he came to settle accounts with this little girl. After a while, the Golden Lion returned, full of murderous intent. Shaki, I advise you to stop doing it. Rox couldn't stand it anymore, and reminded Golden Lion from the side. Even he doesn't understand the ability of telekinesis now, let alone Golden Lion. Just now when the tornado was shooting Rayleigh, Rox deliberately used the peak observation hockey to predict in advance, so that they understood the tornado's attack. However, Golden Lion doesn't have such a strong observation hockey. Moreover, even if it is predicted, it is difficult to avoid it, and it can only be defended. How to defend against such a strange power? Rox wasn't sure for a moment. Therefore, when you don't know anything about Tornado's ability, you will only suffer a disadvantage if you face her. But how can the Golden Lion rest? He is the strong man on this ship, wouldn't he laugh his teeth out after being dealt with by the little lowly? Anyway, with Captain Su Mew here, it's okay to beat her to death, right? Golden Lion was angrily. He wants to stand up and regain his face. Regarding this, Tornado's eyes showed excitement. Is it finally time to fight? She was still worried that they were all companions, and she was embarrassed to attack them, but since this golden lion took the initiative to provoke her, wouldn't it be wonderful? And it seems that this golden lion is a strong person, which makes her even more excited. Golden lion flew into the sky, watching the tornado condescendingly. But the tornado let out a cold snort, and flew up directly, flying higher than the golden lion. The strong wind blew up, and her skirt danced wildly, but it was still impossible for people to see whether she still had safety bottoms, pants. This is really a mystery. Slash wave. Golden Lion came up and unleashed a powerful slash. With a wave of his hand, Tornado had no reservations about his motivation. Surrounded by a mysterious force, the Resurrection rushed towards the Golden Lion's slash. Hey, hey, has she carried such a giant as the Resurrection as a weapon? Aokiji sighed softly. The Resurrection is now bigger than the two marine warships. Such a huge heavy object was actually rolled up by the Tornado's telekinetic force, and directly smashed over. Bang. Halfway. Golden Lion's slash wave directly hit the Resurrection pirate ship, splashing sparks in all directions. However, the material of the Resurrection is so amazing, how could the Golden Lion's slashing attack break through it? Moreover, the rapid impact of the Resurrection was too powerful, directly smashing the Golden Lion's slash. This, Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Shocked, Golden Lion hastily used his trump card. However, under the huge shadow of the Resurrection, Golden Lion's countless slashes were knocked away one after another, and the huge Resurrection directly hit Golden Lion's body, knocking him into the air again. Comma 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 comma. Some people suggest summoning fantasy characters, that's no fun, let's be more realistic, let's have some anime characters, I will count everyone's opinions, the next summoning character will start soon. Also, I have to move bricks on Monday and Friday, and the code words are difficult. Forgive me, I will write more compensation on weekends. Chapter 123 Tornado Hits Cake Island, Reiju Hits Bosom Su Mew. Advertise here. The Resurrection Pirate Ship knocked the Golden Lion into the air. This time, it was more powerful than the tornado's telekinetic power alone to blast the Golden Lion away. After all, with such a huge hard lump like the Resurrection, under extreme speed, the impact force is really too great. Seeing this scene, Su Mew rolled his eyes, as if he had thought of a good idea to attack the enemy. Shaki seems to have lost consciousness. Hurry up to save him, or he will die. Whitebeard saw the state of the Golden Lion in the distance and hurriedly reminded Su Mew. Golden Lion's bones were broken, his consciousness was temporarily lost, and he fell freely from the sky. Ah, uh, Su Mew's forehead was full of black lines. This is the result he never expected. This guy, Tornado, was too aggressive. She cleverly used the resurrection as a weapon, which has the effect of getting twice the result with half the effort. Otherwise, with the power she can use now, it would be impossible to cause such a result. Su Mew drove the resurrection and rushed forward to catch the comatose Golden Lion. Whitebeard carried the Golden Lion to the healing room, which was the only place where the Golden Lion could be healed. Seeing the tragic situation of Golden Lion, the others dared not make any extra moves against the tornado, otherwise the violent lowly would be upset, and the one who suffered would definitely be themselves. The resurrection continues to head towards Cake Island. After the event of summoning the tornado, it only takes 10 minutes to reach Cake Island. Su Mew stood at the bow, thinking about the next way. He will quickly improve himself within a month, and then attack the Valley of Gods. Before, he wanted to subdue all the powerful pirates in the world, so that he could strengthen his own power and improve the level of the resurrection, so that it would be possible to compete with the world government. As for the resurrection of Luojia and the members of the D-Clan, Sumyu was a little helpless. 
Resurrection if you can't awaken Devil Fruit's ability, you can't resurrect these people with no bones left. After all, he, who is currently at his peak, needs the bones and flesh of the dead to be resurrected. As for when the fruit will awaken, it depends on one's own creation and system. But today is different, he has another choice. That is to use the summoning ability to summon strong people from other worlds. The first person summoned by the system was the powerful tornado, which released a lot of depression and pressure in Su Emu's heart. After all, only by working together can we accumulate strength faster and more rapidly. But to continuously summon characters, one must continue to use the summoned characters to do things, so as to obtain the summoning value. Now that Tornado has been summoned, it's time for him to do something. After going to Cake Island, Sumu wants to make a dragon roll. The resurrection arrived at Cake Island in a short while. There were some strange planes in the sky. There were many ships parked beside Cake Island, most of which were luxurious official ships. I can't tell. Lin Lin is very lively here. Whitebeard teased. Gia ha ha ha, is this Wang Guo? Lin Lin really knows how to enjoy it. Golden Lion looked at the lively scene and sighed. For twenty years he hid, living a life like a savage. However, the ant established the world and enjoyed a luxurious life. It seems that there seems to be some important festival here today. Su Mu murmured. Shouldn't it be clear to grab someone and ask? Rayleigh said. Tongjuan, grab that guy here. Su Mu pointed to a guy with a big knife on the cake. With a wave of tornado's arm, that guy was captured involuntarily. Bastards, who are you, you dare to make trouble here? When that guy came to the resurrection, he roared angrily. However, when he saw Whitebeard, he just shut up. Sweat dripped down his forehead, and he couldn't believe that Whitebeard came to Cake Island unexpectedly. He originally wanted to show off his power and kill the offending person, but now it seems that he is thinking too much. Say your name, and then report what's going on in Cake Island today. Su Mu asked directly. Who, are you? The man was surprised, why is it an unknown person asking himself? He thought it was Whitebeard. It's his fault too, Whitebeard is the biggest guy the first know here. Say it quickly, Su Emu's eyes were sharp, and the peak conqueror's hockey was shocking, making him terrified. This person is too scary. My name is Cracker, and I am the son of four emperors Big Mom. The excitement at Cake Island today is to celebrate my mother's birthday. Cracker answered truthfully. Who are here? Su Mu asked again, high-level figures from 16 small countries, but although they came to congratulate, they were actually sent by the world government to supervise my mother. In addition, there is also the Jamal 66 Legion. Cracker said again. Oh, it's interesting, very good. Hearing this, Su Mu was extremely satisfied. He was afraid that there was only Ant here, and in that case, it would be too much effort to do things. Today, the high-level executives of the 16 kingdoms are all there, and they are all running dog countries of the world government, and they happen to be doing things. Tong Wan, smash the cake island for me. Su Mu ordered directly. I saw dozens of ships rising from the sea, and then moving towards the sky above Cake Island. Immediately afterwards, several people in combat uniforms flew up at the scene and rushed towards the resurrection. Is it similar to Marine Admiral Tengu's ability? Aokiji was also amazed. Dozens of huge official ships, equivalent to the size of dozens of marine warships, are almost half the size of Cake Island. Boom. The tornado didn't need Su Emu's order, it flew out directly, with excitement in its eyes. Who is it? A furious girl yelled at Cake Island. Keep that girl. Su Mu pointed at the glamorous Reiju and said. Can those ships be lifted into the air without touching? Golden Lion muttered to himself, comparing his ability with Tornado's. Reiju turned pale with fright, and bumped into Su Mu directly. Tornado nodded and flew directly out of the resurrection. With a wave of his hand, powerful thoughts swept across dozens of ships near Cake Island. Then as soon as she shook hands, Reiju, with a strong figure, slender white legs, long pink hair, and pink clothes, automatically flew to the pirate ship resurrection. The tornado waved and pressed down, and dozens of ships fell directly from the sky, smashing down towards the party where Big Mom celebrated his birthday. Tornado waved his hand, and the power of thought swept across, and the other Jamal 66 people who flew over were sent flying. This, what kind of ability is this? Cracker froze in place. Oops, mommy's cake must be ruined, she's going crazy. Cracker trembled. A huge sound sounded, the entire cake island shook, screams came and went on the ground, and the building collapsed. And when these things went down, more than 30 high-level people in 16 countries were directly smashed to death, and two-thirds were directly killed. Chapter 124 Category on board. Advertise here. The pink and charming Reiju was affected by the telekinetic force of the tornado, and directly bumped into Su Mu. She felt as if she had hit a big mountain, the man's heavy and tough body remained motionless, and she was about to be bounced away. Su Mu only saw the flash of the pink figure, and felt soft and crisp in her arms. He stretched out his hand, held Reiju's slender waist that was about to be bounced away, and pulled it back again. Are all of you Jamal 66 reckless? You don't even look at anyone, you just swarm to kill them. Su Mu joked, looking at the beauty who was so close in front of him. Father wants to form an alliance, of course he has to show his sincerity. 
Reiju felt the steady and strong hand on his waist, and found that he couldn't break free, so he had to answer questions obediently. That would be stupid. The consequences of this may be the destruction of a huge organization. Su Mu sneered. Destroyed. Reiju was horrified. Jamal 66 is powerful and can often subvert a country's legion, how can it be easily destroyed? However, the next moment, she remembered the scene just now. A little green-haired lowly shot her father and big brother brothers away by herself. This ability is really appalling. Looking at the man in front of her again, she felt the abyss-like power in his body. Suddenly, she glanced out of the corner of her eye and found that behind this man stood a person who shocked her. The strongest man in the world, Whitebeard. She finally knew what kind of organization this was. This man is right, their strength can easily destroy Jamal 66. At this moment, she turned around hastily, with excellent flexibility, and looked behind her. She saw a picture that she will never forget. Jamal 66 was destroyed by little Lolita. His powerful father and Jamal's army are like a group of weak chickens in front of that little Loli. The combat uniforms they were proud of were like a stall in the hands of the little girl. Su Mu, my lord. Reiju's body trembled, finally knowing whose arms she was in. It seems that you are not stupid. Just stay on my boat. Anyway, there are plenty of rooms. Su Mu let go of Reiju, making this stunner stunned for a long time. She was originally a member of the Jamal family, but in an instant, the Jamal family was destroyed, and she was on the boat of the absolute overlord of the sea. Su Mu didn't have the time to tease Reiju anymore, he looked at the Cake Island, the tornado had already killed the Jamal family, almost killing the 16 and high-level national officials in the banquet. To be precise, it was almost dead. Seeing that her birthday cake was destroyed, the four emperors aunt immediately fell ill and rushed towards the tornado frantically. She slashed with the famous knife Napoleon in her hand, and Weiguo's huge power rushed directly towards the tornado. Boom. Tornado's whole body was full of strength, his green hair was lifted, and his telekinetic force rushed out, colliding with Big Mom's slash. The attacks from both sides were wiped out. This surprised Tornado, thinking that the fat woman's power was stronger than the Golden Lion. Of course, she was able to defeat Golden Lion so cleanly, mainly due to the impact of the resurrection. At this time, a tall and thin man rushed out, and the terrifying armament hockey hit the Tornado with his fist at the right time. Newgate, rocks, go catch up with Big Mom, I'll meet that guy for a while. According to Su Emu's instructions, activate it instantly, use the space ability, and disappear after teleporting within a small range. The next moment, he appeared behind the tornado, and with a wave of his hand, the door of the different space opened, directly receiving the man's attack. Now his spatial ability has reached its peak, and he can do whatever he wants with many moves. Long Wan, it's done beautifully, you can go back. Su Mu rubbed Long Juan's green hair and praised her. Tornado was dissatisfied and flew back to the resurrection. Who are you and why are you attacking? The man demanded. Katakori, Lousy has taken a fancy to you, so come on board with me. As for Big Mom, she can also board the boat if she wants. Su Mu was straightforward. Those words made Katakori dumbfounded. Who is this? What the hell? Let Lousy, who has a bounty of more than one billion, be on board as soon as he arrives. You thought you were Whitebeard. So, Katakori snorted coldly, looking very dissatisfied. Even if Big Mom is extremely indifferent to his sons, it is his mother after all, the four emperors of the sea, and her authority cannot be challenged. Want to do it? Come on then. Su Mu hooked his fingers at Katakori. He stood there without moving, peak observation hockey swept. Let me see how far your observation hockey is. Su Mu stared at Katakori with interest. At this time, Katakori observation hockey also quietly launched, and his own fruit ability was displayed instantly, and the terrifying glutinous rice fist brought the powerful armament hockey hockey to Su Mu. However, with his hands in his pockets and without using any other abilities, Su Mu easily dodged Katakori's attack just by using his steps. Damn it. Katakori's attack failed. Be cruel. His glutinous rice fists burst out, and countless fists rushed towards Su Mu densely, making him impossible to hide. Hey, it's still too slow and too obvious. Su Mu shook his head, stepped lightly, and flew directly to Katakori, walking freely among his densely packed fists with ease. None of the terrifying fists could hit him. You, your observation hockey. Katakori was terrified, stuttering in shock. He has used observation hockey to predict, and even predict the future, but he found that his prediction always seems to be a beat slower. It was obvious that his attack was easily dodged by his opponent. His observation hockey is one class weaker than his opponent. Half a minute later, Su Mu had already arrived in front of him. Haven't you seen my photo? In the past few months, there has been a lot of information about me, and the headlines are all about me. Su Mu was surprised. Don't be discouraged, it's your honor to lose to me, but in the future, losing to the halo of the protagonist will be the most annoying. Su Mu teased. Ding, take Katakori on board and reward 12 resurrection points. Now the resurrection points total 37 points, and 32 points are needed before the resurrection pirate ship can be upgraded to LV5. Boom. His physical injury was nothing, but mainly a blow to his confidence. The system distributed Katakori's boarding rewards in time. 
Because two years later, Katakori lost to Luffy, which confuses many people. How about my invitation? Su Mu asked again, who the hell are you? Katakori no longer had the heart to resist, but still couldn't tell who this person was. He didn't expect that Katakori was also a guy who likes to be closed. Katakori lost his mind and was hit directly, vomiting blood. Of course, because of the needs of the plot, Luffy needs to grow up, and Katakori has to teach Luffy advanced observation hockey. Su, Mew. After being reminded, Katakori finally understood. Did you feel it? Beating you in your strongest field is my sincerity in inviting you on board. Stop. I promise. Katakori hurriedly called to stop, not daring to let Su Mew speak any further. Su Mew raised his fist, armament hockey entangled and attacked directly. Hidden in Cake Island, he rarely pays attention to outside information. Before Katakori could answer, Su Mew said again, you have two choices, one is to surrender to me and get on my boat, I can help you improve your strength and take you to a vigorous fight with the world government. Two it is to reject me, and then die, after death your flesh will be eaten by strange fish, and your bones will be eaten by dogs. Chapter 125 The four emperors are removed and the ant boards the ship. Advertise here. Su Mu takes Katakori aboard the resurrection. This is a character he admires more. Although the strength is not enough, it is much stronger than when Ace and Moria were on board. Moreover, Katakori can go through training in the training room, and his strength will improve again, and it may be possible to catch up with Hawkeye. There is no need for Su Mu's introduction, Katakori found Rayleigh and others to get to know each other. He had already heard that everyone on the Avengers made terrorist attacks, so he was considered a big shot. What he saw with his own eyes today really shocked him. Golden Lion, Rayleigh, Aokiji, Zephyr, which one is not the man of the sea? Almost everyone has a reputation that is not inferior to his mother's biomom. Of course, that little lowly whom he didn't know also showed terrifying abilities just now. Moreover, he saw Cake Island, where two Avengers were looking for Big Mom. Of those two people, one of them had a white crescent beard. That's Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. Beside him, there is also a strong man, covered in Conqueror's hockey-like substance, which can shatter the fragile objects around him. Rocks, Katakori stammered. Some time ago, there was news that he heard from his sister that the former overlord of the sea, Rocks, was resurrected and boarded Su Emu's ship. Come to think of it, that terrifying man was him. And only he, beside the burly monster Whitebeard, will not be overwhelmed in momentum. At this moment, he was no longer unhappy. He couldn't afford to offend anyone in this boat. Su Mu took out the phone bug and called Morgans. Master Su Mu, what are your orders? Morgans' flattering voice sounded. I give you a breaking news, and I want you to spread it all over the world immediately. The bigger the impact, the better. Su Mu ordered. He told Morgans the news that the tornado had killed the high-level officials of the 16 countries, and told him the news that the four emperors, such as the Big Mom Pirate Group, were delisted, and asked him to add fuel to the publicity. Anyway, Biomom Pirates will definitely be removed. The effect of what he did was to expand his influence and act as a tornado. In this way, he will get more summoning points. As for my news, Morgans is the most professional. Su Mu gave him information, and he was more excited than Su Mu, and he immediately knew what to do. Master Su Mu. It only takes one day at most for the whole world to know what happened today, and the news headlines will all be Mr. Tornado. Morgans hastily stated. Very good, hurry up and execute it, the sooner the better. Su Mu ordered, and hung up the phone bug. At this time, a violent shock came, and the entire Cake Island shook, as if it was actually about to collapse. Su Mu came to the bow and looked at Cake Island with everyone. On Cake Island, Whitebeard and Big Mom are fighting, while Rox is watching. The irrational ant didn't recognize her relatives, and Ishan just wanted to go to the resurrection ship to find the dragon roll and ask for a cake. Whitebeard stood in her way, her enemy. The two monsters are colliding, like two giants. Both are four emperors, the difference in bounties between the two is only a few hundred million baileys, and the difference in strength is not that big. Moreover, Whitebeard was in a sane state and did not kill him, so he had more or less strength left. But even so, Big Mom's strange power and strength made him extremely embarrassed. The two opened and closed, the entire Cake Island was collapsing, the ground was covered with cracks, and the coastal areas had collapsed into the sea. Big Mom has Napoleon, Whitebeard has Kong Yunchi, and the collision of two famous knives is also extremely shocking. The two of them were tall, with terrifying strange powers, and they both had high-level conquerors hockey. When they collided together, they directly cleared the field of people whose strength was below Cake Island. Su Mu didn't make a move, but watched quietly for a while. Four Emperors was really based on strength, Big Mom is too scary, the world definitely underestimated him. At the beginning, Whitebeard still had more energy, but in the end he had to do his best. Because, Big Mom is younger than Whitebeard, and she's still in her prime. Having seen the strength of the ant, Su Mu has confidence in her heart. This is a guy who is more terrifying than Marine Admiral. Rox, you too, Su Mu ordered, it's almost there, no need to play anymore. The corner of Rox's mouth twitched, he had never been in the habit of joining forces with others. Moreover, it was his former crew to deal with. But Su Mu ordered, and he had to carry it out. 
Boom. Rocks joined the fray, and the situation turned one-sided. When the two most powerful men joined forces, Big Mom immediately fell into a disadvantage. The two knew that Su Mu was going to take the ant on board, so they both knew that they had to wake up the ant now. The landslides and ground cracks were fought by the three powerhouses, but the ant's blood was too thick and her endurance was amazing. For an entire hour, the victory of the three had not been completely determined. It's no wonder that Garp and Sengoku teamed up to defeat Golden Lion for three days and three nights. Su Mu couldn't wait any longer, he jumped off the resurrection pirate ship and rushed to the battlefield. Rox and Whitebeard were very self-conscious, stopped directly, and stepped back. Su Mu flew towards Big Mom with a flat look in his eyes. Are you, coming to stop me too? The ant roared angrily, a little crazy. No, I'm a bit overwhelmed by your current size. Su Mu shook her head, looking at Big Mom's size in tons, the corners of her mouth twitched. The former ant was a tall, powerful woman with a good face. It is because of illness that he relies too much on sweets to become what he is now. He flew directly to Big Mom without stopping. Big Mom picked up Napoleon and slashed at Su Mu viciously. How will he block his mother's attack? Katakori said to himself on the resurrection. How to block it? For Captain Su Mu, he doesn't care about this kind of attack. Rayleigh said flatly. The fact is indeed so, Su Mu didn't need to dodge at all, when the slash was about to approach, he just teleported and came behind Big Mom. He stretched out his hand and slapped Big Mom directly on the back, the power of resurrection gushed out and was sent directly to Big Mom's body. In just an instant, the ant froze in place. Her eyes began to change, and the cloudy vision began to become clear, and the resurrection power in her body was repairing her illness. A few minutes later, the ant regained consciousness, and even her illness was healed by the power of resurrection. Big Mom, I'm Su Mu. I came to Cake Island to invite you to board the boat. Since then, there will be no Big Mom pirates in the sea. You will be my crew member. What do you think? Su Mu said lightly. Being your crew, Big Mom narrowed her eyes, mocking. She is the emperor of the sea, who has such a big tone. Even if this person cured her disease, it is impossible to ask her to do so. But aside, Rox and Whitebeard came over. Rox's ship, Captain, Brother Newgate, the sober ant finally recognized the two people who fought with her just now, and she was shocked. Only then did she confirm that the man in front of her was Su Mu, the prince of the D-Clan, the guy who had stirred up the boundless situation recently. I. Will. She lowered her head. At this moment, how could she not understand her situation? If she doesn't obey, what will be waiting for her? Kalalala. Lin Lin were companions again. Whitebeard laughed, loving the feeling of family. Ding, subdue big mom, reward 15 resurrection points. Ding, sign in behind bio mom, and you will be rewarded with three bottles of devil fruit booster, for advanced and below. The system's rewards were delivered in time, and now the resurrection points have reached 53 points, and only 17 points are left to allow the resurrection account to break through again. And when bio mom boarded the ship, on the sea, one of the names of four emperors was removed again, and the pattern of the entire sea has changed. Half a day later, the breaking news that shocked the world swept through, 16 high-level officials of the vassal state of the world government died, and four emperors Big Mom was surrendered, all of which were attributed to the tornado in the news. Ding, congratulations host summoning value has accumulated enough experience, you can proceed to the next summoning. The system's reward reminder for the summoning value appeared in Su Emu's mind again. Can I summon another person? Hee <laughs> hee, I wonder who the system will summon this time. Su Emu's eyes were filled with anticipation. Chapter 126 Hokage World, New Summoned Characters Appear. Advertise here. The destruction caused by the tornado on Cake Island swept the world, causing Su Mu to get enough summoning points as he wished, enough to activate the summoning again. This made Su Mu extremely satisfied. Now he has a two-pronged approach. On the one hand, the powerful who regained the world boarded the ship, obtained revenge points, and improved the level of the pirate ship. On the other hand, he continued to summon characters to increase the size and strength of the crew. Today, the effect is evident. The four emperors ant boarded the ship, and Katakori, the emperor's deputy with great potential, also boarded the ship, allowing him to obtain two strong men in an instant. And under the influence of the tornado, he will get a summoned character again. This process is only one day. Lin Lin, long time no see. Golden Lion came and greeted Big Mom. After all, he was a companion back then, and he was an elder brother. Shaki, now we are together again, it's really amazing. Ant said with emotion. The people who were in the rocks pirate back then have now gathered four strong players. Except for Kaido, John, Silver Axe, Akoku, etc., this is almost a recreation of half of the grand occasion of the year. And Rox, Whitebeard and others looked at each other, and they also looked forward to whether their companions would reappear on the resurrection pirate ship in another way in the future. That would be enough to blow up the entire ocean if it were possible. Looking back, what kind of feat would the Rox pirate reappear? Moreover, they are only a member of the Avengers. This is enough to show how incredible the Avengers are. And do they know that there are other powerhouses on this ship, not just Rock's pirate? There are even strong men from other worlds. Thinking about it carefully, their bodies trembled. It's all about excitement and excitement. Sue Mu, 
Where is the next stop? Rayleigh asked. Seeing so many members of Rock's Pirate gathered, he missed the pirate group he was in back then. When will the Luojia pirates gather? Can those people from back then gather again? Luojia, he, Bullet, Kazuki Odin, Redhead Shanks, Buggy, Crocus and many more. He really misses it. It has been more than 20 years, and he misses those people back then very much. Other than the red-haired Shanks who came to see him, the others were barely visible. Even the bastard Buggy the clown lives in East Blue. Even after breaking out from Impel Down, he's hiding in East Blue again. Crocus is at Upside Down Mountain, preparing for his later years. Bullet disappeared after jailbreak. Kazuki Odin is dead. Their core members fell apart. He is the only one on this ship now. The reason why he got on the boat in the first place was because Sumu had the hope of resurrecting Luojia. Originally, he wasn't very eager, but he couldn't stand the comparison. When almost half of the Rock's pirate staff gathered, he also wanted to gather his companions as soon as possible. How could Sumu not know his thoughts? So, Sumu smiled and said, I was going to Wanokuni, but I put it aside for now and go to East Blue first. East Blue. Rayleigh was surprised, not knowing why Sumu went to East Blue. There, there is no clear strong person to subdue. In this regard, even Whitebeard and others don't know why Sumu gave up Wanokuni, but there is Kaido, a strong man who is not weaker than Big Mom. Because, I have already learned about the whereabouts of the two guys through Morgans. There was a smile on the corner of Suemu's mouth. Who? Rayleigh became interested. It can make Sumu temporarily give up subduing Kaido. The combined force of these two people must not be weaker than that of the four emperors group. Rayleigh, those guys are the ones you want to see. Sumu can play tricks and joked. There was a guy who escaped from Impel Down and led a group of murderers to make a summit war. Now, he is entrenched in East Blue, and he can't be underestimated. The world government offered him an olive branch and wanted to invite him to be a Shichibukai. Buggy. Rayleigh guessed who it was. Yes, there is another guy who went to Windmill Village and drank in a tavern. He led a group of powerful guys. He appeared on the summit war and ended the war. He buried Newgate and Ace with his own hands. Su Mu said again. It's, Shanks. Rayleigh said excitedly. Ha ha. That's right, these two guys are currently in East Blue. Let's divert to East Blue for now, and by the way, take C.U. Carlos to the boat at Upside Down Mountain. Su Mu said with a smile. Good. Rayleigh almost jumped up excitedly. In this way, Luoji's pirate group will have three more people on board, and with him, there will be four more people here. Okay. Let's go to East Blue. Su Mu commanded the resurrection and headed directly for East Blue, and it would take another half an hour to reach East Blue. However, before reaching East Blue, we will welcome a new companion. Su Mu said mysteriously to everyone. What? Someone from another world? Aokiji said excitedly. Even he is very interested in people from other world, let alone other people. That's right. Let's look forward to it this time, who will come? Su Mu said to the crowd that it immediately attracted everyone's interest. He took a deep breath, raised his hand, and activated the summoning ability. Hum. The system automatically consumes the summoning points to make his palm glow, and a beam of 10,000 rays of light rushes out and bombards the void. The void trembled and burst, and the gate of summoning appeared, connecting the pirate world with another world. Which world will it be this time? Su Mu's eyes flickered, looking forward to it. Everyone gathered around Su Mu. Even Big Mom and Katakori, under the simple explanation of others, showed strong shock and curiosity about the next scene. This is an incredible ability and an unimaginable picture. After the Gate of Summoning, a new world appeared. These two suddenly appeared here, and it seemed that they were conspiring, or trying to make some kind of deal. Since we want to reform, we have to start from scratch. Hokage is too kind, and he still has expectations for the Uchiha clan. This is not conducive to the future of the village. I want to protect the village and eradicate whoever gets in the way, even Hokage. This is an absolute treasure, especially for this sinister guy in front of him. Snake. Sensei Serutobi is familiar with all ninjutsu, even if he is old, his strength is unfathomable. Besides, he is Hokage, are you sure you want to do this? And you want me to take risks, can you afford this price? The insidious man asked Rode. Opposite him, another person has long black hair, long golden pupils, purple eye shadow extending to the nose, pale skin, and blue hook earrings. Of the two, one's head and right arm were covered with bandages, covering his right eye and right arm. He feels very sinister, with a long face, and the temperament of the whole person is like a cold-blooded animal. The trees are verdant and the peaks stand in great numbers, creating a primitive picture. The Chunin exam is about to be held. At that time, ninjas from all over the world will come, and Kay's Cage will also come. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The man with the bandage on his head said somberly. Further down, deep in the woods, in a quiet place, two people suddenly appeared. Kama 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 Kama. Enough. Senju Hashirama's cells, with him, my immortality can achieve something. The sinister man became excited and grabbed the container. Their costumes and outfits are different from most people in the pirate world, but somewhat similar to Wanokuni. The bandage man squinted, and carefully took out a container, in which some living cells were cultivated. 
His eyes were cold and vicious, and his whole body was gloomy, as if he had been in darkness all year round. This is the cell of first generation, it is my price for this transaction, is it enough? He said in a deep voice. Ladies and gentlemen, let me make a simple statistic and reply here. The ones with the most mentions will be summoned first. Anyway, dozens of people are expected to be summoned, hee <laughs> hee. Be careful not to be too powerful, it is best to be an anime character, thank you. Chapter 127 The Second Summoned Character, Orochimaru. Advertise here. The shady deal between the two was carried out in secret. Even Hokage of Konoha Village could not always pay attention to the movements of the root leaders. And one of the Sanin who disappeared for a long time, a former disciple of Serutobi Hiruzen, suddenly appeared. How are you going to do it? Asked the bandaged man. Of course I'm going to hide in the Chunin exam, and I'll bring some strong men to ambush. K's cage will surprise teacher Serutobi. The insidious man smiled sinisterly. K's cage. The bandaged man was puzzled. K's cage will become one of my identities, Mr. Serutobi will definitely be unexpected. He said mysteriously. You, want to kill Fungying, and then pretend to be him. The man in the bandage was shocked. As long as it is a cage level character, which one is not a strong one. Although K's cage is not strong, it is only relative to Hokage. This guy wants to kill Fungying, his confidence is really admirable. Worthy of being one of the Sanin, really tough. This is, Hokage Ninja World. Sum Yu sighed, after seeing those two guys, he recognized them. The bandaged strong character is Shimura Danzo, the head of Konoha Village Anbu, head of the Root Organization. This person is a controversial figure. Everything he does is to protect Konoha Village, but the means are extremely vicious, and he will do anything to achieve his goal. The extermination of the Uchiha clan was led secretly by him. It can be said that in order to protect the village, he carried the darkness alone. But third Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen was too kind, which was completely different from his philosophy, so he secretly made a deal with one of the legendary Sanin. He provided countless research materials and arranged for this sinister guy to assassinate third Hokage. Then, he will take the opportunity to become Hokage and rule Konoha village with iron blood. And the sinister looking fellow he trades with is named Orochimaru. Along with Jiraiya, Tsunade, known as the legendary Sanin, are disciples of third Hokage. His life is even more interesting, he is a lawless person, Ishin wants to study various ninjutsu, in order to obtain the ninjutsu of immortality. But this requires countless research materials, including the Sharingan of the Uchiha family, including the cells of Senju Hashirama, and so on. This made up the conspiracy of two people here. In the following plot, Sum Yu knew very well that they succeeded and third generation died. That sad picture still made countless fire fans brood on it at that time. The one who summoned this time, is it Danzo or Orochimaru? Sum Yu muttered to himself, still not sure. Inwardly, he is of course more towards Orochimaru. This person is too talented and absolutely powerful. He is involved in various taboo ninjutsu, and there is an even more powerful secret technique that Sum Yu takes a fancy to. He does come, and he can definitely improve the strength of the Avengers again. Moreover, his research may have a greater use in this world. Ding, establish contact with the summoned person. Ding, the connection with the summoner has been established. In Su Emu's mind, the voice of the system sounded. In the world behind the gate of summoning, the sinister man turned around and seemed to be able to see the gate of summoning, Sum Yu and others. His vertical yellow pupils dilated rapidly, as if terrified. In the next moment, the system injects information such as Sum Yu and the resurrection pirate ship into his mind, and controls part of his consciousness. This made him instantly understand his mission. The moment this insidious guy turned around and looked over, Sum Yu already had the answer in his heart. Orochimaru. The person summoned by the system this time is Orochimaru. The system did not disappoint. Orochimaru. I believe you already know what you are about to face. Welcome to my ship, and adventure with me. Su Mu grinned to Orochimaru behind the summoning gate. Captain Su Mu, I hope that world has the materials for me to continue my research. Orochimaru bowed low to Su, as he was preparing to officially fulfill the mission summoned by the system. Haha, <laughs> there are many people and abilities you are interested in in this world. Give full play to your strengths, I need your research and madness. Su Mu laughed, and another strong person boarded the boat. Orochimaru took a step towards the summoning gate, about to step through it. Orochimaru, who were you talking to just now? Where are you going? Danzo asked hurriedly behind him. He sensed Orochimaru's unusual actions and words. Danzo, I'm sorry, I'm going to another world, you and my agreement, put it on hold for now, but I have to use the cells of the first generation first. Orochimaru turned around and replied calmly. The system calls, he only has to obey absolutely. Bastard, how dare you break the agreement? Do you want to die? Danzo yelled angrily. He was full of momentum, and he was about to rush to grab Orochimaru. Danzo, you can't stop me. Orochimaru was now in front of the summoning gate, sneered and said, Also, do you think you can keep me with your strength? Orochimaru stared at Danzo's bandaged right arm and right eye. These Sharingan were given to Danzo after his research. This is also Danzo's secret and killer feature. For Orochimaru, however, it's a completely different story. 
Because he knows the abilities of these Sharingan too well, and he can prepare in advance. Danzo didn't take it seriously, he opened the bandage on his right eye, and the terrifying Sharingan appeared in front of others for the first time. Danzo, Shisui's Sharingan is really amazing, but I'm going back to my life and I don't have time to play with you. Danzo, I will make it up to you when I come back. Orochimaru laughed, and before Danzo activated the Sharingan ability, he stepped into the summoning gate and disappeared from the Hokage world. The Sharingan ability activated by Danzo caught Orochimaru by surprise. Orochimaru came from the gate of summoning and officially came to the world of pirates. Haha, Orochimaru, welcome. Su Mu greeted him happily, this guy is a treasure, it will be of great use to Su Mu in the future. Everyone, my new companion is named Orochimaru. He comes from the world of Hokage. He is very talented and has special ninjutsu. Give him time. One person can stop thousands of troops, and one person can fight against the four emperor's regiment. Su Mu to Orochimaru praise has been added. What? It's impossible. Whitebeard retorted immediately. One person can stop the entire four emperor's group, this kind of character is also rare in the world of pirates. You know, the four emperors group is not just a single four emperors. The deputy emperor and some powerful cadres are not necessarily weaker than a four emperors. Moreover, a single four emperors is already the ceiling of this world's combat power. It seems that someone has questioned my strength. Orochimaru looked at Whitebeard, who was like a giant, without any fear. Kulalalala, the sinister aura about you makes me very uncomfortable. If I can, I really want to smash you back into your world with my fist. Whitebeard laughed, showing hockey. Then you are doomed to be disappointed. Orochimaru responded flatly. The eyes of the two collided, and they disliked each other, and the battle was on the verge of breaking out. Su Mu folded his arms and did not stop him, because Orochimaru was like a tornado, he needed to prove himself in order to gain everyone's approval. Chapter 128 Whitebeard Bees Orochimaru Advertise here. Provoked by Whitebeard, Orochimaru didn't flinch. Because he also knows that this is another world, and Whitebeard, like him, is a crew member of Su Mu. Both of them have the same role. It's just that I just came from another world, so it's inevitable to be provoked by people in the original world. If he shrinks back, he won't be able to lift his head up in the future. So no matter what, he had to fight. This isn't the Hokage world, he's self-aware. As for Whitebeard, he is not a man of war and oppression, but he really doesn't like a guy with Orochimaru's temperament. Since Su Mu said that this guy is amazing, he wants to verify it for everyone. Kulalala, you look so weak. I'm really afraid that you will be killed with one punch, but Captain Sumu has the ability to resurrect, so there is no problem. Whitebeard was so confident that he swung his fist and slammed Orochimaru fiercely. Fighting broke out. This time, Whitebeard didn't use the shock ability, but was testing it. Orochimaru dodged, dodging easily. He's extremely fast, definitely ahead of Whitebeard. It's nimble, but so what? Think I can't hit you. Whitebeard's mouth curled up. Boom. On his body, the Conqueror's hockey bloomed, with a huge deterrent force, directly shocking Orochimaru. That's what Whitebeard wanted. Conqueror's hockey can not only deter the opponent, but also lock the opponent, make the opponent lose his mind for a short time, become the target of the attack, and cannot avoid it. How do you hide? Whitebeard punched again. Rods rats. Shocking ability blooms. Around Whitebeard's giant fist, there are dense cracks, and the space seems to be shattered by the shaking power. Boom. The terrifying shock power charged at Orochimaru to shatter him. One of the differences between the world of pirates and the world of Hokage is the degree to which people in both worlds exercise their bodies. Relatively speaking, the pirate world generally pays more attention to physical strength. Therefore, Whitebeard's shaking ability may kill a strong person in the pirate world with one punch, but a punch may kill a strong person in the Hokage world, especially Orochimaru whose body is far from fused with Senju Hashirama cells at this time. Summoning Technique Triple Rashomon At the critical moment, Orochimaru formed a mudra with his hands and cast summoning. His hands moved rapidly on his chest, making people dazzled, and then he slapped down quickly. The summoning rune is flashing, which is the summoning technique guided by the special seal of ninjutsu. Buzz buzz. In an instant, between Orochimaru and Whitebeard, a triple Rashomon suddenly appeared. Every door is hideous and terrifying, as if emerging from hell. Is this the ability of another world? It's very similar to Wanokuni's ninjutsu. Rayleigh marveled. He and Luo Jia had been to Wanokuni back then and had seen ninjutsu there. However, those ninjutsu are not very powerful. Interesting, each world has a different power system. Aokiji stared at the battle with interest, interested in Orochimaru's ability. The ability of the tornado makes him so mysterious. Now the second summoned character also showed the ability to open his eyes. The power systems of different worlds have collided with different sparks. Boom. At this time, the shocking ability struck, and it directly hit the first door, making a loud noise. The first heavy door shattered directly and was destroyed by the shock ability. Boom. Immediately afterwards, the shock ability collided with the second door, and the huge impact set off huge waves again. The second layer of Rashomon was broken, but it still couldn't stop Whitebeard's punch. The shock ability rushed out again, and directly hit the third layer of Rashomon. 
This time, the shocking ability did not have the same momentum as before, that is because its power was consumed a lot by the two Rashomans in front. However, even so, after a moment of stalemate between the shock ability and the third level Rashomon, it was still shattered. The remnants of the shock power were much less powerful, but they still rushed towards Orochimaru without hesitation. Body flicker technique. Orochimaru made another seal and disappeared directly from the spot. Boom. The ability of shaking and shaking makes the sea roar with waves. Orochimaru used the triple Rashomon to block Whitebeard Conqueror's hockey's lock on him, so he was able to dodge with the body flicker technique. It's quick to escape. Whitebeard snorted coldly. Observation Haki swept across, locked on Orochimaru's hiding place, and stomped heavily. This time, Kong Yunchi roared in his hand, and with a powerful slash of his arm, a huge slash rushed towards Orochimaru. The huge slash broke through everything, swept away, and cut directly on Orochimaru's waist, intending to chop Orochimaru in half. The Big Snake Body Replacement Technique The corners of Orochimaru's mouth turned up, and from his snake mouth, a small snake spit out. The little snake swam around and suddenly transformed into Orochimaru again. He survived Whitebeard's powerful slash. Okay. Disgusting. Long Wan rolled his eyes and muttered. This. Aokiji's mouth twitched. The others were also stunned by Orochimaru's maneuver. This is really. Coquettish. Someone even started looking at Orochimaru strangely, wondering if this guy is a man or a woman. Another self spit out from the mouth, like an animal giving birth. However, this cub is himself. Exactly the same self. Disgusting, but unbelievable. There are many weird abilities, but I can't feel your power. Whitebeard condescended, showing a contemptuous expression. Hey, if you give me time to prepare, you are no match for me. Orochimaru responded tit for tat, and was not intimidated by Whitebeard's powerful strength. Although he is far from the strength of the peak in the later period, and he does not have the cells of Senju Hashirama, but his taboo ninjutsu has not yet been played. Given time, he'll be ready to unleash second Hokage's forbidden ninjutsu, a pure world reincarnation. He wasn't boasting. Although he is well prepared, he can perform this taboo ninjutsu if he finds the cells or corpses of dead strong men in this world. At that time, there will be more than one powerful impure world reincarnation like Luojiya, there may be a group of them. Even Whitebeard only gets beaten. Don't talk about the future. Now, I will teach you a lesson. Whitebeard stepped forward, pressing on Orochimaru. Summoning technique 10,000 snakes. Orochimaru did not sit still and took the initiative to attack. He casts summoning and summons the most powerful snake ever. Boom. The sea trembled, and from the bottom of the sea, a huge monster rushed, quickly broke through the water, and hit Whitebeard directly. Sea Kings. Looking at 10,000 snakes, Whitebeard muttered to himself. This new guy, can control the Sea Kings. This shocked Whitebeard. Poseidon, isn't Poseidon the ability to control Sea Kings? Does this guy also have the ability of Poseidon? Boom. Whitebeard was knocked into the air by a huge snake. For Whitebeard, though, it was like scratching an itch. It's just Sea Kings, it's not like I haven't killed them before. Whitebeard didn't think so, so he swung his knife and killed 10,000 snakes. He has strength and confidence. Okay, stop. Soon you spoke, stopping the fight. In this battle, if the winner is really determined, it won't be so fast, and he doesn't want to watch it any longer. Time is of the essence, and he has other arrangements and plans. Orochimaru has shown his strength, and it is enough for Whitebeard to pay attention. Moreover, with the Hashirama cells and other preparations for Orochimaru, his strength will be turned upside down again, and Whitebeard will no longer despise him so much. If you don't fight, you don't know each other. From now on, you will be companions. I hope you can cooperate with each other. Soon you set the tone for this battle, and then said loudly, Everyone, we have arrived at East Blue, and the front is Windmill Village, Garp's hometown. The guy we are looking for is drinking in that tavern. Chapter 129 Red-Haired Love, Su Emu's Invitation Advertise here. The resurrection had arrived at Windmill Village in East Blue during the time it summoned Orochimaru and Orochimaru fought Whitebeard. Everyone stood at the bow of the boat and saw the small town ahead in windmills of different shapes. This is Windmill Village, Garp's hometown, where Luffy grew up. In the village, a tavern was very lively at this time. A lovely, gentle girl is the proprietor of the tavern, pouring wine for a one-armed man. The one-armed man had three scars over his eyes and red hair. I heard that Luffy died a few months ago, is there any news about him? The gentle girl asked. That brat Luffy, he's all right, and he's going to get stronger. The red-haired man said with a smile. That's good. Back then, he was also influenced by you. He ate devil fruit, and Ishan wanted to become a pirate. For this, he was beaten by his grandfather many times, but it was still useless. The girl's face was complicated, worried, and thought that kid was funny. Ha ha. This is all his choice, trust him, he will definitely have amazing achievements in the future. The red-haired man laughed loudly and drank a full glass of wine in one gulp. That's good too, except that Uncle Garp is angrier. The girl covered her mouth and smiled, she was really cute, and she seemed a little fascinated by the man beside her. Makino, do you want to live like this forever? The man asked hesitantly. He is used to seeing big scenes, and he rarely has such a shy expression. 
Well, I am very satisfied to be able to guard the windmill village for the rest of my life and live here in peace and stability. The girl named Makino responded with a sweet smile. That, is also very good. The red-haired man sighed in his heart, feeling bursts of sadness. At this time, a green-haired man with a big back and a cigarette came over and sat beside the red-haired man. He held an unopened bottle of wine in his hand. Shanks, look at this bottle of wine, how are you going to drink through the glass bottle? The man asked. Uh, this, Shanks froze. How do you drink through a glass? He looked at the emperor's deputy who was almost as famous as himself in puzzlement. Shanks, you and I have been through big storms, and in this small matter, you are in a dead end, like a rookie. The man held the bottle up to Shanks, then stuck out his finger and poked it lightly. A hole immediately appeared in the glass bottle, and the wine flowed out. He leaned over, caught the spilled wine with his mouth and drank it all. Boom. The man squatted the bottle on the table in front of Shanks before getting up to leave. Hey, Beckman, what are you doing? Shanks asked still puzzled. As the emperor's deputy, sometimes even he can't understand what this guy is thinking. After all, he is known as the person with the highest IQ in the pirate world, with an extremely mature mind and a frighteningly high IQ. Shanks, understand well, and don't leave any regrets. The Beckman was already at the door of the tavern, and the word came back, and he walked out. Mr. Shanks, don't you understand what Mr. Beckman means? Makino blushed and said with some embarrassment. Huh, Shanks looked at Makino's blushing face, as if the Ren and Du channels in his body were suddenly opened. Beckman's right, I'm such a rookie. Red-haired Shanks exasperated. The next moment, he raised his head excitedly, and looked at the girl in front of him with domineering and enthusiastic eyes. Whoosh, he quickly reached out and grabbed the girl's soft hand. Dot dot dot. The resurrection was docked in the sea beside the windmill village, and soon you stood at the bow, staring at this small sea area. Tornado, here is a king of the sea, catch it for me. Su Emu's powerful observation hockey swept across, and immediately found a huge strange fish on the bottom of the sea not far away, almost comparable to sea kings. Tornado also found the guy Su Mu was talking about, rushed out with telekinetic power, went straight into the sea, and pulled the big guy up from the bottom of the sea. Boom. The huge offshore Akoku hit the deck, still in a daze. It was sleeping well on the bottom of the sea, but unexpectedly, it was caught by a strange force and thrown on the ship. Hey, you are so majestic, you bit off the arm of four emperors in one bite, you are more powerful than Marine Admiral. Su Mu looked at the king of the sea and teased him. Gul ha ha, the king of the near sea didn't know why, so he protested and signaled Su Mu to let it go. At this time, Beckman had arrived not far from the resurrection. The moment he left the tavern, he felt a powerful force approaching the windmill village, so he took a look alone. When he saw this huge pirate ship and the people standing at the bow, he was shocked. These terrifying powerhouses on the sea have been the focus of the whole world recently, and any major incidents are related to them. Yo, you came here uninvited, the red hair is still in Ruanxiang. Su Mu asked Beckman jokingly. What, are you here for? Ask Shanks what's your intention. Beckman narrowed his eyes, apprehensive. Su Mu, the prince of the D family and the captain of the Avengers, has terrifying strength and has never been defeated so far. Beside him, Rox, Whitebeard, Golden Lion, Aokiji, Zephyr, Rayleigh and other powerhouses lined up one by one, each of them is a powerhouse in this sea, more famous than him. Ha ha. The red-haired guy is not young anymore, and in the dead of night, it is inevitable that one hand will be inconvenient. Su Mu jumped down from the resurrection, came to Beckman, and said with a strange smile, I'm here to help Red Hair recover his lost left arm. Really? Beckman asked excitedly, Redhead lost his left arm here back then. Although it didn't affect his status as four emperors, it still affected his strength to some extent. Uh. Dot you. The redhead rolled his eyes at Su Mu. Su Mu. Uncle Rayleigh. Whitebeard. Ace. The redhead looked at the people in front of him, and shouted their names in shock. To be able to restore his left arm is fantastic for him. Throw that guy down. Call out. At least, for the current redhead, it will be more attractive in front of girls. The matter of breaking his arm back then was his bet, the result of deliberate loss. Hey, the lord is here. Su Mu looked at the red hair again, and said seriously. Deeply sarcastic, not to mention the king of the sea biting off his arm, as long as he is unwilling, with a look, the conqueror's hockey will sweep across, and the king of the sea will not be able to approach him at all. The king of the sea was thrown from the deck in front of Shanks by the tornado. Otherwise, a weak offshore king is no different from an ant in his eyes. Boom. Red hair, I will avenge you, and I will capture the king of the sea who bit off your arm back then, and I will listen to you. Su Mu said to Hong Hair with strange eyes. The corner of Su Mu's mouth raised, and he said to the tornado on the boat behind him. Ha ha. Red hair, don't go around in circles, I'm here to revive you with a severed arm, and then invite you to board the boat. There was a flash of red, and the red hair suddenly appeared. Chapter 130 The red hair gets on the boat. Advertise here. Su Mu's serious invitation made the redhead fall silent. Shanks, what are you hesitating about? Rayleigh got off the boat and stood beside Su Mu and asked. As the former vice-captain of the red hair, Rayleigh's words carry a lot of weight. 
Uncle Rayleigh, I'm different from you. The redhead was conflicted. You know why I came out again. Rayleigh asked back. I can guess, because of Captain Luo Jia. Su Mu has the resurrection ability, so he has the hope of resurrecting Captain Luo Jia, so you agreed to board. Reason. Although he also wanted to invite Rayleigh to join his team, or he wanted to go out with Rayleigh, however, there was always a voice in his heart that stopped him. That was his background. Determined by blood, his life experience is very mysterious and few people know about it. In this world, apart from the world government executives and him, only Beckman knows. He can't easily reveal his identity, which will affect his idea of freedom to ride the sea. However, pitting him against the world government alongside Su Mu also made it difficult for him to make a decision. Celestial dragons, not him, but also him. His family blood has some ties to the celestial dragons. Seeing his hesitation, Beckman knew his scruples. Redhead also communicated with him in private, he is actually very unwilling to bear the family blood, but just wants to be a pirate. However, his identity is extraordinary, not whatever he wants. Shanks, you still have to make a decision. Be yourself, you are the real you. Beckman suggested from the side. Ace, why are you back? Suddenly, a female voice came. Everyone looked around and found a gentle girl at the door of the tavern, with a smile of pure joy on her face, waving to Ace on the resurrection. Masino. Ace jumped off the resurrection, walked to the tavern, and greeted Masno. He was adopted by Garp when he was a child, and he lived in Windmill Village. Together with Luffy, he naturally met Masino. The redhead looked at the girl and took a deep breath, as if he had already made up his mind. If I refuse, what will happen to you? The red hair looked at Su Mu and asked tentatively. I will kill you and resurrect you. Su Mu answered directly. The redhead's face darkened, and the corners of his mouth twitched. This guy Su Mu really doesn't give face. He has no doubt that Su Mu can kill him, even if his team members are here, they can't stop the Avengers at all. Strength. There is a big gap. Even if he is the top four emperors, so what? Will there be fewer strong Avengers? Leaving Su Mu alone, there is more than one person who is at the same level as him, or even stronger than him. Rocks, Whitebeard doesn't have a fuel-efficient lamp. Therefore, he never thought of resisting at all. Even if Su Mu said that he would kill him if he refused, he could only sigh helplessly. However, he was only testing Su Mu, not refusing. He had already made up his mind, there was no need to worry about blood, and he was still inextricably linked with the celestial dragons. Those are the fetters of the older generation. Just like the younger generation of the D family today, how many people will abide by the agreement of their ancestors hundreds of years ago to support Su Mu loyally? Not to mention Garp, even juniors like Luffy will act according to their own wishes and will not abide by the mission of the bloodline. Red hair, your scruples are because of your background, right? Su Mu asked with a smile. You were born on the mysterious red line. Are you connected to the celestial dragons? As a time traveler, although Su Mu knows part of the plot of One Piece World, Oda didn't draw the red-haired life experience at all. There is only a picture of him going to Mariajoy alone and meeting the five elders, and there are no other clues. Su Mu's question is just a guess. But this shocked the redhead extremely. His life experience is very mysterious. It can be said that he ran away from his family since he was a child, and was taken on board by Luo Jia. He didn't contact the family until after Luo Jia's death. Now that Su Mu had already asked, he didn't want to hide it in front of everyone. Taking a deep breath, the redhead said in a deep voice. You guessed it, my family, from the red line. He was silent for a moment, and continued. Many people don't know that thousands of years ago, even before the appearance of celestial dragons, a huge kingdom appeared on the red line. This kingdom has many races, and these races have a unified name, that's the Protoss. The secret revealed by the red hair shocked everyone. Even people of the older generation like Rox seldom hear about the huge kingdom. That is a lost history, not much different from a blank history. The redhead continued. Speaking of the Protoss, you should know that the celestial dragons call themselves gods. In fact, today's celestial dragons are also a group, which comes from some of the main groups of the huge kingdom. These secrets are only known to the upper echelons of celestial dragons and the family where the red hair belongs. And the other Protoss on the red line back then were not all human beings, but various races. Today, there are not many people from those ethnic groups, only sporadic ones floating outside. People from other ethnic groups still live in the depths of the red line. As for the people living outside, in addition to the red-haired people who are deeply hidden, there is also Kaido's one of the three disasters, Yan Calamity, which also belongs to the descendant blood of one of the gods. The red-haired paused, and said with a wry smile. My ethnic group was originally a royal family of a huge kingdom, and its status is even more noble than the current celestial dragons. However, since the collapse of the huge kingdom, my ethnic group has withered, and it is no longer the same. The celestial dragons took advantage of the situation. Defeated became the ruler of this world. I know that the celestial dragons succeeded in defeating the D-Clan through despicable means. The redhead finally finished talking about his life experience, staring at Su Mu and said, so, in essence, I belong to the same origin as those celestial dragons, so I hesitate. Then why are you determined again now? Su Mu smiled, happy in her heart. 
Because what the red-haired man said just now, he had actually made up his mind to get on the boat. Because I feel that there is another conspiracy behind the destruction of the Great Kingdom, and I don't want to bear the mission of blood. This sea should be free. I want to do something truly meaningful like Captain Luo Jia. The red hair said in a deep voice. Said. Ha ha. You and I may be the same kind of people. Red hair, is it possible that the destruction of the huge kingdom was actually caused by the celestial dragons secretly? They wanted to become the masters of this world, so they secretly obtained despicable powers, like it's the same as dealing with the D family. It's hard to say when the dark matter hooked up with the celestial dragons. Join me, and I will lead you to find out the truth, subvert this sea, and make the red line the eye of the storm. Su Mu was in high spirits, patting the shoulder of the red-haired broken arm with one hand. Chapter 131 The red hair is reborn with a broken arm, Buddy is here. Advertise here. Su Mu patted the red-haired severed arm, with a different kind of brilliance in his eyes. Another four emperors group boarded the ship, for him, it was a great strength. Moreover, what makes red hair pirates different from other pirate groups is that they are known as the Iron Wall Pirates. As long as the redhead is absolute, everyone else is absolutely supportive. They were originally a group of congenial fellows. Moreover, there is a special place for red hair pirates, that is Beckman. Many people don't call him the emperor's deputy. Because everyone thinks that red hair pirates has two four emperors. Beckman is as famous as a redhead. This is a double surprise for Su Mu. Redhead boarded the boat, and he took the opportunity to invite Beckman aboard. Undoubtedly, Beckman also boarded the boat, and the rest of the red-haired group followed the red-haired without hesitation. Of course, only Red Hair and Beckman are the ones that Su Mu likes the most. Others, like the captains of the Whitebeard Regiment, can serve as subordinate forces. Red Hair, do you still want to bet on your left arm? Su Mu asked. Before the summit war, when Redhead persuaded Whitebeard not to let Ace chase Blackbeard, he answered Whitebeard's question about his broken arm. He said he bet his arm on New World. In fact, he took a fancy to Luffy as the successor of Luo Jia's will. It's just that Luffy needs time to grow up after all, and the Redhead has to wait too long. Besides, Su Mu is reborn. He changed the pattern of the sea and even the world. He held up the banner of the D family, and summoned a large number of strong men from this sea to his command. The power gathered shocked even the world government. Under this general trend, should Hongfa stick to the bet he made back then? The redhead smiled and shook his head. If I guessed right, you can revive Captain Luo Jia when your resurrection ability improves. At the beginning, I only hoped that Luffy could inherit Captain Luo Jia's legacy. Will, but Captain Luo Jia is about to be resurrected, wouldn't it be more direct and better for him to continue his unfulfilled last wish? Redheads are not dead brains, nor are they hypocritical. With his left arm gone, how could he hug the proprietress of the tavern better? Ha ha. Dot you don't have to regret it. That kid Luffy will be on board soon. I will raise his strength to the four emperor's level as soon as possible. This is not only to fulfill your wish, but also what I want to do things. The descendants of my D family, especially the monkey and gore families, even if they don't want to fulfill their blood mission, I will try my best to give them as many benefits as possible. Su Mu patted Red Hair's severed arm again, and the power of resurrection flowed out along Red Hair's shoulder and into his body. The power of resurrection flowed, urging his flesh and blood, allowing flesh, cells, and bones to grow at a speed visible to the naked eye. This miraculous phenomenon shocked the Redhead and Beckman deeply when they saw it for the first time. Is this the magical ability of Su Mu? A few minutes later, the red-haired broken arm was reborn. A new arm grew, exactly like his right hand. My left arm, is really reborn. It feels so dreamy. The red-haired man looked at his left arm and muttered to himself. Shanks, congratulations. Beckman was happy with the red hair, then pointed to the tavern and said. Go, give her a surprise. The red-haired old man blushed and became shy. Ha ha, it will be much more convenient to have an extra hand. Su Mu laughed loudly, leaned close to the redhead's ear, and whispered. When you move your hands, no one will be partial, and you will have double the happiness. The red-haired face turned black, and hurriedly ran away from Su Mu, the LSP. Ding, the red-haired Shanks boarded the boat, rewarding 16 resurrection points. Ding, Beckman boarded the ship, rewarding 14 resurrection points. The system promptly distributed the rewards for two people boarding the ship, a total of 30 points. This made Su Mu excited, and there were only two points left before the resurrection pirate ship was upgraded to LV-5. And these two points, Su Mu is not worried at all, because he already has a candidate to board the boat in his heart. Rayleigh, redhead, let's call this number. Su Mu took out the phone bug and invited Rayleigh and Hongfa over. The two were full of doubts and didn't understand what Su Mu was going to do. I asked Morgans for this number. I want to call this guy. He is an old acquaintance of the two of you. After Su Mu finished speaking, a smile appeared on the corner of Rayleigh's mouth, and the redhead couldn't help laughing, as if he guessed who Su Mu was going to call. Bood. Bood. The phone bug was connected, and a naive but a little arrogant voice came from over there. Hey, who is looking for this uncle? This uncle is very busy now. As soon as he finished speaking, a uniform voice sounded from the phone bug. That's right, 
Buggy is loud and busy, fart fast and talk fast. This voice made Su Mu and the others turn black. Buggy, how dare you talk to me like that? Rayleigh yelled first. Uncle Lei, Uncle Lee, why are you? On the phone Bug's side, Buggy's tongue was about to jump out in shock. Rayleigh, which Rayleigh, how dare you call Buggy God Tear, looking for death? There was another uniform voice from the phone Bug. That, ahem, Rayleigh is my uncle, please respect it. Buggy taught the group of lawless younger brothers a lesson. Stupid, idiot, don't you even know Pluton Rayleigh? Another voice rang out from the phone Bug, it was MR3's voice. Pluton Rayleigh, the deputy captain of One Piece Luo Jia, on the phone Bug, the pirates were shocked. Now, they finally know who is talking to Buggy. Buggy, stay safe, I'm in East Blue now, do you want to come see me? The red-haired voice also sounded. Bastard, let Buggy God Tear come to see you. What qualifications do you have? Buggy God Tear, but you want to become the overlord of the sea and seven warlords of the sea. On the other side of the phone Bug, the group of criminals who escaped from Impel Down came again. The red hair was neatly picked up. In their hearts, Buggy is a God Tear, who can use him like this. Sean, X, you, are with Uncle Rayleigh. Buggy was shocked again. What? It turned out to be Shanks with red hair. Mr. Three's voice sounded again. At this moment, the group of murderers were completely silent, and they didn't dare to continue attacking the red hair anymore. Uncle Rayleigh and I are waiting for you to come here. Here, and our captain, you come here now and bring all your subordinates. The red hair said. Our captain. Is it Luo Jia, the captain? That Su Mu is by your side. Buggy has guessed that Su Mu is beside them. Because he had already learned from the news that Rayleigh is now a crew member of Su Mu. Now that the redhead is with Rayleigh, then Su Mu must be too. It's just that he didn't expect at all that the captain mentioned by the red hair was not Luo Jia, but Su Mu. Red hair, you wait, I'll come over now. Buggy said excitedly on the phone bug, and hung up the phone hastily. Chapter 132 Buggy on board, the pirate ship is upgraded again. Advertise here. Buggy himself is in East Blue, and it won't be long before he gets to Windmill Village. Su Mu was also willing to wait for him for a long time for the last two resurrection points. After all, pirate ship upgrades matter. Moreover, Su Mu also has to fulfill one of Rayleigh's wishes. That is to gather the members of the Luo Jia pirates. Although Buggy is a weak guy, he is indispensable to the Luo Jia pirates. He was the first happy fruit of Luo Jia's group, and the potential rookie with red hair was the only two trainee crew members of Luo Jia's group at that time. Back then, if Buggy hadn't been sick, the redhead wouldn't have stayed to greet him. Then the redhead will also reach Raftal. So red hair has a special emotion for Buggy. Buggy calls the redhead a kid, but actually cares a lot about everything about the redhead. Redhead, hurry up and do your work, we're leaving after Buggy arrives. Su Mu said to the red hair with deep meaning. Then, Su Mu returned to the resurrection and spoke to Morgans. Morgans, I want to check where celestial dragons have appeared recently. The more the better. Su Mu cut to the chase and stated his purpose. To get summons, Orochimaru and Tornado have to mess with each other. And in this world, how can we make big things happen? After much deliberation, it is most appropriate to kill celestial dragons. This is not only relieved, but relatively easier. After all, most of the celestial dragons out there are slugs with little force. Master Su Mu, please wait a moment. Morgan's hung up the phone and immediately used resources to inquire. An hour later, Morgan's phone bug replies. Master Su Mu, I have found out that five celestial dragons will go to Alabaster recently. The World Summit will be held, and the world government invites all major kingdoms to participate. Leading a powerful black-clothed army over, looking at the posture, they want to show off their prestige and bully Alabasta by the way. By the way, one of the young celestial dragons has a high position and authority, and seems to be very interested in the princess of Alabasta. How long will it take for them to reach Alabasta? Su Mu asked again, narrowing his eyes at the same time. It will probably take a little more than half a day to go back to Master Su Mu. Morgans estimated and answered hastily. Okay. I know, you go down. Su Mu hung up the phone and frowned. Buggy still has half a day left. After inviting Buggy to board the boat, he has to go to the top of the island to ask Crocus to board the boat, and then go to Barabaston. Although it is in the same direction, I am afraid that the time will be later than Celestial Dragons to Alabasta. It seems that we can only hope that the speed of the resurrected pirate ship can be greatly improved after the upgrade. Su Mu is very fond of Princess Vivi of Alabasta. She is destined to be on board. Become the owner of one of the tiny pink rooms aboard the resurrection pirate ship. Half a day later, Buggy came. He brought hundreds of murderers under him, and came on a windy pirate ship. Buggy, you're doing well. Looking at Buggy's majestic posture, the redhead couldn't help but praise him. This guy, who had been doing nothing before, lived in East Blue decadently, and even the newcomer Luffy bullied him. Now, the people he brought with him are extremely powerful. These people are all big criminals who escaped from Impel Down. Each of them is a strong man. Hundreds of people together are not weaker than the power of a Shichibukai. Otherwise, how could the world government throw an olive branch at him? 
HMPH. Redhead, do you finally know how powerful I am? Buggy snorted coldly and said proudly. Seeing Buggy's contemptuous and arrogant attitude towards four emperor's red hair, the eyes of Buggy's subordinates were full of stars of admiration. As expected of the Buggy loud god, even the four emperors don't give face at all. They said in unison. Buggy, why haven't you come to see me after all these years? Rayleigh came out, scolding Buggy. Uncle Rayleigh, I, I can't find you, Buggy said awkwardly. In fact, there is another reason, that is, he is not doing well, and he has no face to see Rayleigh. HMPH, you're an excuse, boy. Shanks came to visit me twice, and you didn't once. Rayleigh came over, pinching his nose. Rayleigh, uncle, save me some face. Buggy whispered in Rayleigh's ear. He didn't want to lose face in front of his younger brother. Ha ha. Then just let you go. Come on, let me introduce you to our new captain. Rayleigh pulled Buggy, came to Sue Mew, pointed to Sue Mew and said, this is the current captain of me and Shanks, Sue Mew. Ah, this. Buggy was dumbfounded. Even Rayleigh and the redhead are willing to call Sue Mew the captain, which shocks Buggy. Buggy, come to my boat and be with your former companions. Sue Mew welcomed Buggy. Sue Mew, lousy, but the future Shichibukai. Buggy said stiffly in front of his younger brothers, and didn't want to be someone else's crew. But the heart is actually a group of fear. He knows how powerful Sue Mew is. Everyone in the Avengers is strong, far beyond what his little brothers can match. Ha ha. Future Shichibukai. That's scary. Su Mew was really amused by Buggy, almost to the point of tears. He pointed at Buggy and laughed loudly. The future One Piece will also be my crew member, and the past One Piece will be my crew member in the near future. Are you a future Shichibukai? Very impressive. Buggy was so dumbfounded that his tongue was about to fall out. You want to revive Captain Luojia? Yes, Uncle Rayleigh is willing to follow you, there must be an agreement. Buggy seemed to be smart all of a sudden, but the next moment, he frowned and asked, the future One Piece. You know. Haha, <laughs> of course I know, that guy beat you up. And you guys played Impel Down and Summit War together a few months ago. Su Mew said. What? Impossible. That straw hat kid, how could he be the future One Piece? Buggy shook his head immediately. You'll know later. Buggy, are you going to keep doing Shichibukai, or join me in overthrowing the world government? Su Mew asked again. This time, instead of joking with Buggy, he got serious. Rayleigh saw Su Mew's expression, and immediately winked at Buggy. Su Mew is serious and never drags his feet. If Buggy is unwilling, Su Mew may not even be willing to look at him. The opportunity is once in a lifetime. I do. Buggy couldn't understand what Rayleigh meant, and agreed immediately. Ha ha. Very good, welcome. Su Mew laughed again. Ding, the clown Buggy boards the boat, and rewards you with two resurrection points. The system rewarded Buggy for boarding in time. Tsk tsk, it's really accurate, this guy is only worth two points. Su Mew is not dissatisfied with this. Anyway, the points are enough, and the resurrection account should also break through. Without any hesitation, Su Mew gave an order to the system in his mind. Upgrade the resurrection pirate ship. Ding, using 70 points, the pirate ship resurrection is being upgraded. The next moment, the pirate ship resurrection began to change. The entire hull has doubled in size again, and it is really the size of an island. This is so shocking. On the ship, the number of rooms on the second floor and the first floor has increased again. Now there are 30 crew rooms on the second floor, and 15 pink rooms on the first floor. In addition, the functions of the training room and the healing room have increased again. The time ratio between the training room and the outside world has reached 60, 1, which means that one day outside will be 60 days inside. And the efficacy of the healing room has increased again, and it can actually reverse the growth of the human body. Although it is not obvious, but for old guys like Whitebeard and Zephyr, soaking in the healing room, the vitality in the body will not age, and can directly maintain reverse development. An hour inside can actually slow down their aging time when they are outside for a month. Ding! The resurrection number is upgraded to LB5, unlocking the hidden functions of the resurrection number, and gaining the ability to travel through space. After the resurrection number has been upgraded, another function has been unlocked that makes Su Mew extremely excited. Chapter 133 Crocus Embarks for Alabasta. Advertise here. The pirate ship resurrection has been upgraded and is currently at level LB5. What makes Su Mew most happy is that the resurrection account has unlocked the shuttle function. In Su Mew's mind, the system passed the operation information of the shuttle function of the resurrection to him. And Su Mew also learned from this information that the resurrection has a very powerful shuttle capability, with a single traversal distance reaching tens of thousands of nautical miles, and the cooldown time is only 5 minutes. In other words, the resurrection can reach the Sabayati archipelago on the Grand Line from East Blue in one shuttle. And it only needs to cool down for 5 minutes again, and then it can travel directly to New World. This is similar to the speed of light. That is to say, if Su Mew wants to go there now, there is no need to spend a lot of time on the road, and he can directly activate the resurrection shuttle, which only takes a cigarette. Of course, if Su Mu's space ability is awakened, he can also start the space shuttle, and he can achieve it by himself. Set sail. Get ready to go. 
Su Mu shouted loudly. The redhead bids farewell to the blushing and blushing Makino. While waiting for Buggy, the relationship between Red Hair and Makino has been sublimated. Now, they are already a couple. Even, they may already have the continuation and crystallization of life. Redhead boarded the ship with Beckman and explained to the others to follow the resurrection. Su Mu gave them an address, outside Daughter Island, the island where Luffy was trained, and asked them to wait for orders there. As for Buggy, he also had to say goodbye to his licking dogs. But they also got Su Mu's permission to go to Daughter's Island with the red-haired group to wait for orders. Everyone, we are going to the beginning of the Grand Line behind the Reversing Mountain. It is about 5,000 nautical miles away from here. Guess how long it will take to get there. Su Mu stood at the bow and asked proudly. Retro number breakthrough, the speed should be improved a lot, I estimate it will take about 20 minutes. Rayleigh said. Because before they came to East Blue, it took about half an hour. This time, it is normal to speed up and reduce 10 minutes. 15 minutes I guess. Whitebeard was also interested. As for Orochimaru, he was lying around the resurrection with great interest, even beating the resurrection with various tools. He actually started to study the resurrection number. Hey, is this really just a ship? He was very puzzled. Witnessing the changes in the resurrection just now made his impression of scientific concepts collapse. So at this time, I am very curious about the resurrection, and I am studying it. Of course, before that, he had already had an in-depth conversation with everyone on the ship, his eyes glowed, staring at people who were different from the Hokage world, as if he had discovered a treasure. In his eyes, the people here are all the best materials for experimental products. Whether it is the body structure or the strength system, he has never seen it before. This seemed to open up a new world for him. Therefore, he curiously wanted to get everyone's cells, but this habit was rewarded with fists by everyone. But he finally succeeded, after all, he could get the material he wanted from the hair. Ten minutes at the fastest. Rox responded. After all, it's still a long way off. Ha ha. You really have no imagination. Watch carefully, the current speed of the resurrection. Su Mu snapped his fingers and gave the order to shuttle. Hum. In front of the resurrection pirate ship, the space is like water waves, with the bow as the center, the ripples spread around, and the space Uzumaki appeared in an instant. The resurrection glowed and rushed indirectly. Everyone felt that their eyes went dark, and the next moment, their eyes suddenly lit up again. This process is like going through turning on and off the lights at night. Time is short, in the blink of an eye. The resurrection flew out of the space Uzumaki, and everyone saw the upside-down mountain behind them. And not far below them is Gemini Cape. In front of the lighthouse at Gemini Cape, an old man was sitting leisurely and reading a newspaper. In the sea next to him, a whale is playing, headbutting the huge red line and upside-down mountain from time to time. This huge whale has many scars on its scalp, but it doesn't flinch at all. Rayleigh, Red Hair, Buggy and Sue Mew came to the bow of the resurrection and looked down. Crocus, Rayleigh yelled. The sound made those who were reading the newspaper tremble all over. After many years, this voice appeared again. He still remembered that he was dragged aboard by this voice back then. The voice first invited him to treat Luojia, and took him to find the whereabouts of the Rumba Pirates by the way. He got up, raised his head, and looked at the giant in the sky. Uncle Crocus, Redhead and Buggy waved down from the bow. Rayleigh, Shanks, Buggy. Crocus saw the people at the bow clearly, tears welling up in his eyes. Twenty years have passed, and the former companions and juniors have fallen apart, but now they have gathered together. Am I dreaming? He murmured. Whoosh whoosh. Rayleigh, the Redhead, Buggy jumped off the resurrection and was in front of Crocus. Soon you also teleported and stood aside directly, without disturbing the reunion of these old friends. Rayleigh, why are you here? Crocus wondered. I read the newspaper. You came out of the mountain again, got on Su Emu's boat. Ha ha. Dot you are the real you without glasses. Looking at you now, I seem to have returned to the time twenty years ago. Crocus and Rayleigh hugged each other heavily. Ha ha. I believe you can also guess that Su Mu promised me that Luojia will be resurrected, and our pirate group will be reunited. The purpose of coming here today is to let you board the ship. Rayleigh explained his purpose and directly invited him to board the ship. After all, this was his wish, and he was already very grateful that Su Mu agreed, so he had to come up with the invitation himself. Because of Crocus' medical skills, Su Mu can't use them at all. Don't worry, Crocus, Su Mu's magical ability is amazing. When Luo Jia is resurrected, his former companions will appear again. Moreover, news about the Rumba Pirates will also be found out. Rayleigh vowed. Crocus, I know some news about the Rumba Pirates. Their musician Brook got the Devil Fruit from Underworld, reborn in a different way, and is now in the Straw Hat Pirates. As for the other members, after Luo Jia is resurrected, I will resurrect them. Su Mu promised. Su Mu, thank you. Rayleigh solemnly bowed down. He knew that Su Mu did this for him. Ha ha. Rayleigh, you and I are welcome. After all, you are my first crew member and witnessed my rise, such a trivial matter is nothing to worry about. Su Mu patted Rayleigh on the shoulder, making Rayleigh very upset it is moving. Crocus boarded the boat and took Laboon the whale with him. After all, 
After the resurrection became larger, the beach and small sea on the ship have become much larger, enough for Laboon to live in it. Come on, let's go, to Alabasta. Everyone returned to the pirate ship resurrection, drove the pirate ship, and directly used the space shuttle to Alabasta, which is not far from here. Chapter 134 The Alabasta Crisis, The Choice of the Sand Crocodile Advertise here, Alabasta. This is a country in the desert. Around this kingdom, most of the area is covered by desert and the climate is dry all year round. On the square in front of Alabasta's palace, thousands of kingdom troops gathered. They stood majestically in the square, guarding the palace. Of course, they are also lining up to welcome important people. Because on the long carpet in the center of the square, a group of people were heading towards the palace. At the front of this group of people, there are five gorgeously dressed people wearing oxygen masks, as if they don't want to breathe the air of this world. Among them, there was a young man who looked extremely indifferent and confident, scanning everything around him with a contemptuous gaze. Around these five people, there are hundreds of guards. They were uniformly dressed in black combat uniforms, and they looked awe-inspiring as a whole, which was particularly shocking. Every black-clothed guard has the determination in his eyes that a strong man should have. At the entrance of the royal palace, King Cobra of Alabasta led his courtiers to welcome the group. Princess Vivi, who has already participated in important duties in the country, naturally stands beside her father. It turned out that today Alabasta ushered in a distinguished guest from the world government. Five celestial dragons arrive with hundreds of powerful guards. With the mission of world government, they invited Alabasta to participate in World Summit. Celestial dragons, as the ruling group of the world, naturally act as the envoys of the world government, and take the initiative to go to various countries as envoys. Often when a country invites a celestial dragons, it is already giving the country a lot of face. However, Alabasta, a total of five celestial dragons came this time. Mainly because of a young celestial dragons among them. He had long heard of Princess Vivi of Alabasta. Want to have a look? Even, this time he wants to bring Princess Vivi back to Mariajoy directly. For him who is noble, even the princess of Alabasta has to bow his head to him. Although celestial dragons will not have conflicts with other countries on the surface, and celestial dragons will not do some outrageous things on the surface, but there is too much darkness in the dark, but outsiders don't know it. For Princess Vivi, he is bound to win today. Because, he is the grandson of Vero, one of the five elders. And they didn't ask Marine Admiral to go for protection, but let the black clothed guards secretly cultivated by the world government come. If Sumu were here, he would definitely recognize this black clothed bodyguard, exactly the same as the black clothed Deadpool he brought when he and the Empress went to Marineford a few months ago when they were ambushed by the Celestial Dragons. Each of these hundreds of black clothed guards exudes a terrifying aura, and even one of them is a commander, who at least has the strength of a Marine Vice Admiral. As for the other strong men in black, they are also elites, not weaker than Captain Marine. A total of hundreds of people is actually an extremely powerful force. Taken together, it's not much weaker than a marine admiral protecting himself. For Alabasta's thousands of troops, the group of black-clothed guards showed disdain on their faces. In the missions they have completed in the past, like this kind of garbage army, they don't know how many have been killed. Not to mention that the opponent has only a few thousand people, even if it is tens of thousands, they are confident to win against 100. With the followers of this group of men in black, the five celestial dragons will have the capital to be arrogant. Passing through the square, the celestial dragons came to the palace and saw Cobra and others waiting in the palace. I've met my lords, please go to the palace for a short rest. Cobra said warmly and politely, with a very low posture. This is the celestial dragons, he can't afford it, and neither can Alabasta. It's fine to rest, you know why we are here, we're just going for a formality. Breathing here for a second, I feel dirty. An old man, celestial dragons, looked around in distaste, and didn't give Cobra the slightest hint. Face. As this Princess Vivi, I saw her today, and she's really pretty. The young celestial dragon's heart looked at Princess Vivi with glowing eyes, admiring her very much. Today's Princess Vivi is wearing a white dress, which sets off her slender figure even more gracefully. Her water-blue long hair is no longer a ponytail, but is coiled up high, fully revealing her full forehead, immature, with a bit of maturity in a girl. She has a standard face, a pair of big eyes, as if she can speak. At this time, she was standing behind her father calmly and calmly, with Vivi bowing her head to welcome the celestial dragons. I have met Lord Hart. Princess Vivi saluted with a smile. When she smiled, the dark sky in Alabasta seemed to brighten up instantly. Sure enough, Vivi's smile is very charming. Hart's eyes were full of greed. Vivi smiled, and he was immediately fascinated. The fiery lust in his eyes was undisguised, making Princess Vivi frown and Cobra furious. Princess Vivi, congratulations, you are appreciated by the young master, and you will follow me to work at the world government headquarters in Mariajoy, why don't you kneel down and thank you? The old celestial dragon said with his head raised. Are you acting as a messenger? Do you think I, Cobra, are fools? Vivi is my daughter, and I will never allow you to take her away. Cobra showed a strong side. As a man, how could he not understand what greed is in Hart's eyes? Even if the opponent is Celestial Dragons, he fought to the end today. 
Not only is it necessary to defend the majesty of the country as a king, but this group of celestial dragons cannot be allowed to show off their power here. He wants to be a father to protect his daughter. Only by you. The old man celestial dragons narrowed his eyes, very upset that Cobra disobeyed him, and said fiercely. Cobra, believe it or not, tomorrow's newspaper will report that Alabasta suffered the worst sandstorm in history, suddenly destroyed, all cities and citizens disappeared, and the world will be removed from the world, and the world will disappear. This is a threat, a naked threat. HMPH, I hate disobedient ants the most. Hart snorted coldly. In the next second, Cobra's chest seemed to be hit hard. He looked down, and a terrifying fist directly pierced his chest. King Cobra, the commander of the army was beside Cobra and witnessed this scene with his own eyes, but he didn't react at all. That man in black is too fast, too powerful. Protect the king, protect Princess Vivi. The commander shouted, and the army in the square rushed towards the palace. Ha ha, just because these people want to stop me. The black-clothed commander who punched Cobra threw him laughed, and with a strong shock, Cobra's heart was broken. He jumped back and gave orders to the black-clothed guards. Boom. The black-clothed guards moved and rushed directly to the square, colliding head-on with Alabasta's army. In an instant, there were endless screams. The picture is like a pack of wolves entering a flock of sheep, destroying everything. The black-clothed guards used their powerful combat power to defeat the kingdom's army like cutting melons and vegetables. This picture made the dying Cobra close his eyes in despair. As for Princess Vivi, there was no longer a calm and calm posture at this time. Father. She cried bitterly, throwing herself directly to her father who was lying on the ground. Princess Vivi, this is the consequence of disobedience. Obediently follow me, otherwise the entire palace will be bloodbathed, and all the soldiers of the army will die tragically, even the people of the entire country will not be spared. Everyone's life is on yours in hand. Killing and killing, this young celestial dragons is just too vicious. Princess Vivi was trembling with trepidation, her heart was terrified to the extreme. The survival of this country, without my permission, who would dare to get involved? Suddenly, an arrogant voice sounded, and it came directly to the front of the palace. Not far away, a crazy sandstorm stirred up the world and swept up everything along the way. Even the guards in black were thrown up by the shocking sandstorm. At the bottom of the center of the sandstorm, a man with a cigar in his mouth, a golden hook on one arm, and a back-combed hair appeared. Crocodile, you have been deprived of your title of Shichibukai, and you are going against the world government, are you looking for death? The leader who killed Cobra with one punch roared angrily. Behind him, there are three commanders of the same level as him. These four black clothed guards all have vice admiral level combat power. This country belongs to me. If you don't leave, then you will be buried in this desert. Crocodile the Sand Crocodile said forcefully, and he stepped forward and stood between the Celestial Dragons and Princess Vivi. Chapter 135 Crocodile's Madness Advertise here. Crocodile suddenly appeared in Alabasta and directly helped the country he once occupied against the world government, which made everyone in Alabasta feel incredible. Even Su Mu who was in the cloud was shocked by this scene. In fact, Su Mu came to Alabasta a long time ago, but he used the stealth function of the resurrection number to directly make the resurrection number invisible at high altitude. He stood on the bow and watched the play for a while. Because he wanted to pull Vivi onto the boat, but he didn't want to force it. So, put Alabasta in a bit of a crisis, and he makes a move, so that Princess Vivi can agree. However, just when Su Mu was about to make a move, he found that Crocodile had come unexpectedly. This surprised Su Mu. This guy, Sand Crocodile, has a great personality and is Su Mu's favorite type. He was the first Shichibukai defeated by Luffy, but that doesn't mean he was the weakest. It's just that he was the first to come out, and it's just the plot needs that's all. His devil fruit, Logia's sand sand fruit, is extremely powerful. Losing to Luffy is really just losing to the plot. If he can go to the training room of the resurrection to train, with Crocodile's talent, his strength will definitely be greatly improved. What Su Mu likes the most is his personality, fearless, decisive, hockey. Below, fighting broke out. Crocodile fought alone with four Marine Vice Admiral level black clothed guards. Suddenly, yellow sand filled the sky, and the entire palace was shattered. After the summit war, Crocodile disappeared for months without knowing what to do. But now that it reappears, Su Mu feels that his strength seems to have improved. Newgate, the sand crocodile seems to have a problem with you, has there ever been a conflict with you? Su Mu asked Whitebeard. Crocodile seemed to express his displeasure with Whitebeard during summit war. It's just that it's not hatred, it's more like dissatisfaction. Kulalala, this kid once challenged me and failed. I wanted him to be my son, and even asked him to come to my ship as the captain of the second team, but this guy refused. So later, the second team went through several battles. Turn around and let Ace do it. Whitebeard revealed a little secret. So that's how it is. Su Mu was stunned, but with Sand Crocodile's strength, it's no problem to be the captain of Whitebeard's regiment. Below, the battle began to heat up. Four Vice Admiral level black clothed leaders have already besieged the Sand Crocodile. All kinds of abilities have been released. The entire palace has been impacted by the aftermath, and the walls have begun to shatter. 
Princess Vivi and others are evacuating in a hurry under the protection of some guards. Sandstorm. Crocodile yelled. He stretched out his hand and swung it, and a giant sandstorm directly swept a strong man into it. The terrifying strangling power directly made the strong man drip with blood, and disabled one of his arms, and his combat power was severely damaged all of a sudden. However, on the square, the black clothed guards had already gained the advantage of crushing and directly defeated the army. In the sand crocodile's hands, a small sandstorm took shape, and it rushed directly towards the square to encircle and suppress the black clothed guards and the army of the volunteer kingdom. Boom. While the sand crocodile was distracted, the hand of the black clothed guard who had ordered the strike sent the sand crocodile flying with a punch, causing him to cough up blood from the corner of his mouth. This is the result using armament hockey. Sand crocodile, you still have to be distracted from fighting us. Do you want to block all of us alone? Who gave you the confidence? The man sneered. Hee hee. Are you underestimating me? Crocodile sneered. He didn't care about the injuries on his body at all, and his whole body became elemental directly. His legs became the bottom of the sandstorm, making him look like a sandstorm. Boom. The sandstorm started violently and continued to expand, sweeping away from the palace to the square. Sand crocodile, this will only make you die faster. The man sneered. He believes that with the strength of the sand crocodile, it can be delayed for a long time to deal with them and defend well. But he has to carry all the black guards alone, which is a dream. All of them combined may not be as powerful as Marine Admiral, but they're about the same. A sand crocodile has not reached this level at all. Crocodile however, doesn't think so. Going through the summit war, seeing even a strong man like Whitebeard die in battle, gave him a lot of stimulation. During these few months of disappearance, he locked himself on a deserted island. Isolating everything is to retreat and improve one's own strength. He already understood that in this sea, without strength, everything is just floating clouds. Therefore, he trained himself desperately in the past few months, whether it is the use of fruit abilities or hockey, he has improved a lot. This time I went out, I just met celestial dragons coming to Alabasta. He regards Alabasta as his territory, and even though he has failed and no longer wants to occupy this country, he does not want this country to be destroyed. He seems to have a special feeling for this country. Therefore, even if he wants to be an enemy of the world government today, he will have to face the siege of hundreds of strong men, and he might even have to sacrifice his life for it. He played Sand Sand Fruit to Ultimate, and the huge sandstorm swept up the four black clothed leaders who were fighting against him, and even rolled up all the black clothed guards in the square. Ha ha, he endured these powerful men's constant attacks inside the sandstorm, destroying him from the damage of the sandstorm, and moved towards the desert outside the square with difficulty. Crocodile, is this to protect the palace? Some ministers murmured. He he, no matter what he wants, death will be waiting for him. Hart sneered. This abnormal behavior of the sand crocodile is undoubtedly a fool in the eyes of some people. Although the strong men around him, and even the other four celestial dragons were swept away by the sand crocodile, he was still there. Boom. He forced it, and wanted to arrest Princess Vivi first. Crocodile, are you, are you crazy? You too will die. After speaking, the entire desert began to shake, and the yellow sand swept across the sky, forming a huge desert Uzumaki. The black-clothed leader was horrified, seeing the berserk in the entire desert, and roared angrily at the sand crocodile. Ha ha, I admire Whitebeard's heroic death. I, Crocodile, will not lose to him. Today, I will use my own blood and life to bury all of you under the desert. He stood up again took a deep breath, and a crazy smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Crocodile, this is all the power, unreservedly displayed. Ha ha. Crocodile, are you finally unable to hold on? Why are you trying to get seriously injured and move us out of the palace and square? You are simply an idiot. Crocodile picked up the drop cigar, blew on the sand, and put it back in his mouth. As for himself, although he is not very strong, he is not weak either. It is easy for him to deal with civil servants like Alabasta and Princess Vivi. The sandstorm just now consumed most of his stamina and hockey. He activated the entire desert, combined the sand ability with the desert, and wanted to make the entire sandstorm explode and bury everyone, including himself. You idiots, you won't understand. Not far away, the sandstorm shattered on the edge of the desert after traveling for several miles with difficulty. Crocodile fell to the ground, covered in wounds, bleeding and exhausted. Chapter 136, Kill Celestial Dragons and Invite Bibi to the Ship. Advertise here, on board the pirate ship Resurrection. Soon you and others couldn't help sighing when they saw the violent scene of the entire desert. This kid is really a lunatic. It's too reluctant to use his ability like this. I'm afraid I will die together. Rox shook his head, but there was a smile on the corner of his mouth, admiring such a person very much. He obviously doesn't need to participate in this battle, so why did he take the initiative to enter the game, even at the risk of his life? Whitebeard asked suspiciously. Soon you glanced at him and teased, he was stimulated by you. Whitebeard's face was full of question marks, and he didn't understand what Soom you meant. Don't think so clearly, since I met this guy here, he must board the boat. Soom you smiled and said that he already regarded Crocodile as his crew. Then shall we go down and rescue him now? Enel asked. 
He seldom speaks usually, and has been staying in the training room recently. Today he is in high spirits, and his consciousness of being a frog in a well has been completely changed by everyone on the pirate ship Resurrection. During this time, his strength improved again. Mainly, he inspired armament hockey and curved his Sunere mentality. For him, this is a qualitative improvement. Therefore, he is a little eager to try now, and wants to fight a battle. Soon Yu squinted at Enel, shook his head and said. This time, it's not your turn. After all, the celestial dragons here are too weak to play for Orochimaru. It's not that he doesn't want Enel to make a move, but one of the purposes of coming here is to make Orochimaru do something. Only when he comes to kill these people can he get the summoning value. But it will take a while. Soon Yu said flatly again. Crocodile's highlight moment, let him do it all by himself. Even if he dies, he can easily revive him. But this is too important for the sand crocodile. This is a perfect improvement and experience for his state of mind, which is of great benefit to his strong heart. Even among the people on the resurrection, there are not many people with the heart of the strong. So if the sand crocodile can fight with his life, soon you will naturally be successful. Boom. A loud noise exploded in the desert. Huge waves of yellow sand swept across the sky. Alabasta's palace collapsed completely, and the huge square was lifted up and shattered. At the center of the explosion, hundreds of people in black and crocodile were swept away by the huge explosion, and the blood of their stumps was splashed everywhere, which was extremely tragic. Whoosh! Soom Yu immediately left from the resurrection ship and came to the palace. He stood in front of Princess Vivi, and the powerful conqueror's hockey bloomed, rushing in the direction of the aftermath of the sandstorm, blocking the impact of the aftermath that was fatal to Princess Vivi. At the same time, Orochimaru was moved from the resurrection by Soom Yu using space power. Orochimaru, get rid of that disgusting guy! Soom Yu pointed at heart. You, who are you? Do you know that I am the grandson of Barrow, one of the five elders? Hart was covered in wounds, and was very miserable after being affected by the aftermath of the sandstorm. Barrow, ha ha. Do you believe that I can let him kill you himself? Soom Yu was amused when he heard so little about this guy. Barrow, they are all his lackeys now. To be resurrected by him is to be 100% loyal to him. Orochimaru took the lead, staring at the celestial dragons, licking his tongue. Whoosh! Orochimaru's tongue stretched out rapidly, and heart was rolled up, and then turned into a meat paste. Too weak, not even interested in research. Orochimaru said disdainfully. In the distance, the turmoil in the desert finally calmed down, and the yellow sand began to drift across the sky. On the ground, people lying on the ground. Except for Crocodile's army who was not involved in the sandstorm, hundreds of black-clothed guards were almost killed or injured. There are only less than five alive. Of course, the surviving Vice Admiral-level black-clothed guards were all seriously injured and basically useless. If they don't receive timely treatment, they will definitely die here. Only the presidential collar was in a slightly better condition, with an arm and an eye blown off. Although he was seriously injured, for a powerhouse of this level, he still had combat power and a chance to save himself. However, the four celestial dragons that were involved were blown into pieces. And Crocodile, with a missing leg, a big hole in his heart and a tattered back. The deadliest thing was his head, there was a hole in his forehead. Although he is a Logia-capable user, Haki and his physical strength are exhausted, and the fruit ability is barely used, and his own load is too heavy, which makes him unable to defend at all, even elementalization. In this sandstorm, he was blown up like this, which is already considered an excellent result. He was lying on the ground, dying, and yet he was smiling. Sand Crocodile, you madman! I'm going to kill you! The leader of the guards in black trembled when he saw the broken corpse of celestial dragons. Something big happened. As the overall person in charge of this escort, he must be responsible. He already had a premonition that the result of going back and explaining himself would definitely be his death. The wrath of the top of the world government will tear him to pieces. He strode over to the crocodile, intending to smash the bastard to pieces with his fists. Orochimaru, go ahead and kill that man in black. Soon you gave orders to Orochimaru again. Orochimaru's eyes glowed, and he saw that the man in black was capable and worth studying. Whoosh. He quickly swept away and attacked forcefully. Soon you walked up to Princess Vivi, pulled her up from the ground, and said with a smile. Alabasta is still too weak. Only when you are strong can you protect your father and the country. Princess Vivi had tears all over her face. What's the use of being strong? My father is dead, and the country is broken. Not far from her, Cobra died. Half of the country's army was also killed by the men in black. This tragic scene made her powerless. If they are strong, they can be revived, and the whole country will not be bullied in the future. Soon you rubbed Vivi's blue hair. Vivi looked at Soon Yu suspiciously, not understanding what he meant. Soon Yu pulled her, walked to Cobra, and put her hand on his forehead. The power of resurrection surged, and Cobra's heart healed at a miraculous speed, and his bloodless face also began to recover. In just two minutes, Cobra breathed again, and even opened his eyes. Princess Vivi trembled all over her delicate body. She looked at the scene in front of her in shock, and stared at Soon Yu with her mouth wide open. It seems that it is difficult to feel that the dreamy picture in front of me is real. 
The next moment, Su Mu pulled Princess Vivi again, teleported to the square, slapped the ground behind her, and the power of resurrection swept across the square. Those dead soldiers were recovering with the naked eye Su Mu, and after a few minutes, thousands of dead soldiers were revived. Reviving these weak people is really too simple for Su Mu now. You, who are you? How do you? Princess Vivi's eyes widened, and she asked Su Mu in disbelief. It's just that before she finished her question, Su Mu blocked her mouth. After releasing it, Su Mu smiled and said, Seeing is believing, this is the strong man. Follow me, you will become strong too. I will be the patron saint of Alabasta, protecting your country. Su Mu throws an olive branch to Princess Vivi. This is a girl he admires very much and deserves her personal invitation. Chapter 137 Vivi and Lao Sha board the boat, Marine's target. Advertise here. Su Mu's words are provocative and infectious. Especially when he revived Cobra and the kingdom's army, for Princess Vivi, the image was even more like a fairy. His charm quickly magnified to the point of worship in Vivi's eyes. At this time, Princess Vivi blushed. On her lips, the residual temperature made her feel a little dazed. However, Su Mu's words just now have penetrated into her heart. The world government is no longer credible, and the celestial dragons are dark and innocent. If you want to protect Alabasta, you have to become as strong as the man in front of you. But this is obviously impossible. Her talent is simply not up to the mark. Therefore, the only way is to let this man protect the country. As this man said, she might be able to get his protection if she became his own. Aboard, Princess Vivi muttered to herself. Unexpectedly, I also want to be a pirate. At the beginning, she almost went to sea with Luffy to become a pirate, but in order to stay and help her father share the burden, she finally chose to stay. But now, she can no longer stay. I am willing. Princess Vivi bit her lip lightly, and finally agreed. Welcome. From now on, Alabasta is my territory, no one dares to touch me, even if the celestial dragons come, I want them to die. Su Mu rubbed Vivi's head, making the girl smile through tears. We are leaving in ten minutes, go say goodbye to your father. Su Mu gave Vivi time to say goodbye to his father. As for how to protect Alabasta, Su Mu now needs no other means at all. The resurrection can now activate the shuttle function, as long as Cobra sends a distress signal, and the resurrection shuttles, Su Mu and others can come. Leaving from the palace, Su Mu walked towards the crocodile in the desert. Orochimaru had already passed, blocked in front of Crocodile, and immediately killed the bloody leader in black. He happily sliced the black-clothed leader, put the research materials into the container he carried with him, and sealed it. There are many elements of ability in this world, which opened his eyes and attracted him deeply. Su Mu walked up to Crocodile, who was so angry, and looked at him condescendingly. Are you here to end my life too? Come on, I've earned it. The Sand Crocodile didn't have the slightest fear. Instead, some relief. Ha ha. Sand Crocodile, you are so willing to die. Even Whitebeard has been resurrected. Su Mu joked. What? Cough cough. Puff. When Crocodile heard Su Mu say that Whitebeard was resurrected, he was so excited that he choked blood from his heart and made himself roll his eyes. Ah, Su Mu's forehead was full of black lines. Lao Sha was still breathing, but when he heard that Whitebeard had been resurrected, he was shocked to death. This way of dying really left Su Mu speechless. This guy has such a personality even in death. Su Mu shook her head helplessly, she had to come by herself. Originally, Lao Sha's injuries all over his body could be recovered by throwing them directly in the treatment room. Su Mu reached out and pressed Lao Sha's forehead, and the power of resurrection gushed out. A few minutes later, Lao Sha woke up again, looked at Su Mu in front of him, and muttered to himself, Am I dead or alive? Is that guy Whitebeard really resurrected? You died, but you came back to life like Whitebeard. Seeing Lao Sha's bewildered look, Su Mu wanted to tell him how he took his last breath. But think about it or forget it, lest this guy feel uncomfortable after boarding the boat. I'm too lazy to talk anymore, Crocodile, follow me on board. Su Mu said flatly. Anyway, Lao Sha was resurrected by him, and Lao Sha would instinctively agree to whatever he said. If you want to persuade the living Lao Sha, then you have to spend a little more time talking. Old Sha Mu nodded, got up, and followed Su Mu. They came to the Alabasta Palace, where Princess Vivi was saying her last goodbye to her father. She had already explained the cause and effect to her father and got his consent. When Su Mu returned to the ship with Lao Sha and Vivi, Orochimaru had already boarded the ship and went to his room to start a new research. Still the old way, Su Mu told Morgans what happened here, let him use the news to create momentum, and threw all the damage to Orochimaru. Lao Sha threw all the pots of celestial dragons to Orochimaru's back. He doesn't care anyway, and that's what Su Mu wants. Half a day later, the sea shook violently, and Mariajoy was furious. A dreadful bounty has been issued, and it is for Orochimaru. 5 billion 22 million berry. This exaggerated reward order made many people click their tongues. Orochimaru, a new character, has a higher bounty than most of the four emperors. Absolutely, because he took out five celestial dragons. One of them is the grandson of five elders. Before, the damage caused by the tornado was not as great as this time, so the reward for the tornado was only 4 billion berry. 
Marine was scolded by the world government, and Akainu was scolded bloody. The world government issued a death order to Marine, requiring them to eradicate the Avengers and capture Su Mu within ten days. This order is too embarrassing for Marine. But with a hardliner like Akainu as the marshal, the order of the world government was still enforced by him. Twenty Marine warships set off from the headquarters and have been heading for the destination set by Akainu for several days. But in advance, Akainu did not inform everyone of the purpose of the trip. To this day, on a warship with only the top Marines, Akainu is convening a meeting of all top executives. When Akainu announced the order of the world government, the conference room was immediately noisy, and everyone scolded the world government. The Avengers, now is not what Marine can compete with. There are so many world governments, just let them die. When everyone complained here, they suddenly remembered the time when the Golden Lion made a fuss about Marlene Vander. At that time, the Air Force support of the world government did not distinguish between the enemy and the enemy, and directly and indiscriminately shelled, causing tens of thousands of deaths and injuries to the Marine elite. Among them, 3,000 elites were directly bombed to death, and 4,000 elites were disabled by the bombing and had to quit Marine. This bloody account is deeply engraved in the hearts of the Marine elites, how could they forget it? Since then, there has been an irreparable rift between Marine and world government. Today, the world government knows the strength of the Avengers Alliance, and knows that it is impossible to defeat Su Mu and others with the current strength of Marine, but still let them arrest within 10 days. Isn't this telling them to go all out? Yo Li Yo Li, I'm starting to wonder, does the world government still care about Marine's life? Kazaru looked displeased. It doesn't matter if the salary doesn't rise, but he still has to work hard. I want to fart. Did you realize it now? Garp said gloatingly, picking his nostrils. Why has he been reluctant to be Admiral, because Admiral will be directly dispatched by the world government. He doesn't want to protect celestial dragons that kind of moth all the time. If he hadn't insisted on the justice in his heart, relying on Marine's strength, he could have started anew. Everyone, our identity is Marine, and sometimes we have to obey all orders, there is no doubt. In ten days, we attacked with all our strength, finding the right time to deal a heavy blow to Sue Mew. Akainu knocked on the conference table to express his point of view. He continued. I have studied Sue Mew's course of action. He is now frantically subduing the strong in the sea. Even Big Mom has surrendered to him. Next stop, I it has been predicted that he has a high probability of going to Wanokuni. Akainu looked at the crowd and said in a deep voice, I have already contacted Kaido and Blackbeard. With two four emperor's regiments from the sea, plus marine, I believe there is enough power to defeat Su Mu. Everyone, there is no need to if you hesitate any longer, killing Su Mu will calm the turmoil in this sea. Chapter 138 The Third Summoned Character, Aizen. Advertise here. Resurrection, Deck. With a wave of Su Mu's hand, the resurrection headed towards Wanokuni. But this time, he didn't use the shuttle function right away. Because, on the way to Wanokuni, he will summon new companions from other worlds again. In Su Mu's mind, the system cashed in on the impact of the Alabasta incident in time. Ding, Crocodile, the Sand Crocodile, boarded the boat and rewarded nine resurrection points. Ding, Princess Bibi boarded the boat, and rewarded with one resurrection point. Ding, Orochimaru beheaded five celestial dragons and hundreds of black clothed guards of the world government, causing a huge impact on the world, and the summoning value was doubled three. The system's reward made Su Mu click his tongue. This time, the summoning value directly increased by three times. In other words, now he meets the chance of summoning three times. This really surprised Su Mu. There is no hesitation, Su Mu will immediately use the summoning value to summon the strong from Otherworld. This time, he was looking forward to which three guys would come. Everyone, we are about to welcome a new partner. Su Mu said proudly to everyone. Oh, a strong man from another world. Tornado asked hastily, becoming interested. Have you got new research material? Orochimaru immediately ran out of his room. Kalalala. Dot our team is getting bigger and bigger. Whitebeard laughed. Hey, it's getting more and more interesting, world government, let's tremble. Rox smiled crazily. Once on board, he has learned about Su Emu's magical ability to summon the powerful of the other world. Both Tornado and Orochimaru have the world's top strength. Such an alliance of Avengers gathers too many powerful people. Admiral level powerhouses accounted for at least half of them. What kind of terrifying force is this? He couldn't imagine it at all. Perhaps, such a feat can only be achieved in the most glorious era of the D-Clan. Everyone gathered around Su Mu, together with him, looking forward to the next summoner. As before, Su Mu waved his hand, consuming one summoning point, and directly opened the gate of summoning. Behind the gate of summoning, a new world emerges. This world is different from Hokage world and One Punch Man world. Gray sky is the main color of this world. A warm-looking guy with glasses was walking deep into the woods. In front of him, there are five or six powerful monsters. These monsters are different from those in the worlds of Pirates, Hokage, and One Punch Man. They look like skeletons, somewhat illusory, and also carry the horror of hell. Those monsters rushed towards him with a ferocious aura, as if they wanted to tear him apart. However, this man didn't panic at all, as if these monsters were like air. 
Ha ha, a surprising thing happened. The attacks of these monsters all failed, as if directly facing the air. In the next moment, these monsters started fighting, and all of them killed each other in a short while. But this man still didn't stop walking, just pulled out a trace of the knife from his hand, and gently pushed it back into the handle. He walked into the depths of the woods, and with a wave of his hand, a black hole appeared in the space. There is a mysterious power flowing in this black hole, and he wants to step into it and live another life. The wind blows and blows the hair on his forehead. When he came to the edge of the black hole, the momentum on his body blossomed, shattering the glasses he was wearing, and he left with the wind. A gust of wind blew up his hair that was originally covering his forehead, turning it into a back. Temperament, instant change. He changed from a warm man to hockey, a cold and strong man. However, when he was about to take a step, a system voice sounded in his mind. A series of system information was poured into his mind, and the system summoning had been completed. He was selected by the system and became the summoner this time. It's a pity, Hogyoku has just been fused by me, and I have to put it on hold temporarily when I want to do a big business in Hueco Mundo. He sighed helplessly. He had to obey the system's call absolutely. Who's this guy? He looks strong. Whitebeard asked, squinting. Not only strong. Su Mu clicked her tongue. She didn't expect the system summoning door to open the Shinigami world this time. The first person to be summoned was Aizen. At this time, Aizen has incorporated Hogyoku. Tisk tisk, it can't be killed at all. The most amazing thing is his knife. Soul slashing knife. Once used, almost everyone will be tricked. That is the most advanced hypnosis and illusion, definitely not weaker than Uchiha Itachi's Sukuyomi. He turned around, took one step and came to the gate of summoning. Looking at Su Mu and others, he already had information about these people in his mind, which was directly instilled in him by the system. He stepped through the gate of summoning and officially came to the world of pirates. As this the pirate world? It seems a bit weak. The first sentence Aizen came here turned out to be contempt for pirate world. This pissed off Whitebeard, and it pissed off Rocks even more. They claim to be the sealing force of this world, but they are despised by others. Huh, Hogyoku's power has been suppressed, and Reiatsu seems to have been suppressed a lot. Aizen sighed softly, not all of his power was brought over. This made him a little dissatisfied. That's why I lament that the world is a bit weak. Whether you are weak or not is not up to you. Report your name, and I will be merciful when I deal with you later. Rox stepped towards Aizen, and the powerful conqueror's hockey blasted Aizen's clothes. Nice Reiatsu. Aizen mistook the real damage dealt by prime conqueror's hockey as Reiatsu. His name is Aizen, from the world of Shinigami, he is a very special person. Rox, are you sure you want to fight him? Su Mu asked back. Without knowing the ability of Aizen Zonhundao, everyone on this ship, except Su Mu, may be hit. Unless it is prepared in advance. Captain Bell, let me do it. Golden Lion flew out first and rushed towards Aizen. He is one of the three legendary pirates, and he is as arrogant as Whitebeard. So seeing Aizen's contempt, he felt the need to stand up and teach this frog in a well. Slash wave. Golden Lion came up and slashed. A huge slash rushed towards Aizen, but he flew back, putting distance away from Aizen. He can't be said to be careless, lest he be careless and embarrassing. The proud son of heaven, the city wall made of iron, the shape of a dragon, the roar of a lion, howling, the rush of a wolf, cut off the sky and the earth before it collapses. 81 of Bakudo splitting void. While Aizen chanted softly, in front of him, a huge defensive wall like a mirror appeared. Bang. Golden lion slash wave hit it, making a loud noise, but it didn't break through at all. The defense is good, it depends on whether you can hold it. Golden Lion became ruthless, armament hockey flowed all over his body, and shouted, Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Carrying armament hockey's slashes, they rushed towards Aizen, drowning it. Ha ha ha, this is the consequence of underestimating us. Golden Lion laughed. However, Rox, Whitebeard and others watching the battle frowned. Shaki Bastard, has his head rusted. He's just babbling nonsense all by himself, can't he see that nasty guy watching the show without even showing his hand? Whitebeard said angrily Rox said. It feels like Golden Lion has lost their face a bit. No, Shaki has already been recruited. This guy's ability seems to be related to mental hallucinations, which makes people hard to guard against. It seems that he does have the capital of arrogance. Rox sighed, glanced at Su Mu who was watching the play with a smile on the sidelines, and finally realized that the bastard Su Mu must have known about Aizen's ability a long time ago. Chapter 139 Uchiha Madara comes. Advertise here. Aizen Zanhundao is released, and Kyoka Suigetsu is activated silently before the Golden Lion attacks. And Golden Lion, who didn't know it at all, was naturally recruited, and fell into the illusion without knowing it. At this moment, not to mention Golden Lion himself, even the top powerhouses such as Whitebeard and Rocks all look solemn. This new guy has tricky abilities. If it were them, they might still be hit. It's too dangerous. Ha ha. Welcome Aizen. Let's stop the competition between you, there will be enemies in the future for you to fight to your heart's content. Soon you ended the fight. Of course, if he doesn't stop, I'm afraid the battle will end soon. Golden Lion doesn't know how to deal with Aizen at all, and the defeat is obvious. 
Aizen walked towards Su Mu with a blank expression, and bowed slightly. Golden Lion walked over disheveledly, still showing hostility towards Aizen, very upset. He felt like his fist was hitting cotton. He didn't even know when he got the trick, which made him very angry, and he really wanted to fight with fists to the flesh. But Aizen was too lazy to fight. In his eyes, it seemed that the Golden Lion wasn't exciting enough for him to fight. Next, welcome to the second person of today. Without stopping, Su Mu used her summoning ability again, opening the gate of summoning again. This time, Orochimaru was very familiar with the world that opened behind the summoning gate. Hey, this is our world, just this place. Orochimaru showed doubts. Behind the gate of summoning is a vast battlefield. When is this? Why is there a war? From the gate of summoning, there is a war going on in the world over there. Countless ninja coalition forces are fighting a strange creature on the battlefield. That strange white creature, almost exactly the same. The world beyond the gate of summoning is another battlefield. There, tens of thousands of allied ninja troops gathered, facing a hill. On the top of the mountain, a man stands alone. He has long hair and a pair of very special eyes, looking at these ninja coalition forces with contempt. And behind the ninja coalition army, there were five very powerful ninjas looking at this cold and arrogant guy with solemn expressions. Huh. The man on the top of the mountain moved, and he rushed into the ninja coalition army alone like a giant beast. Bang bang bang. Immediately, figures flew up. That man seemed to be in the land of no one. Wherever he passed, the people of the ninja alliance were constantly being bombarded, and there was no enemy with a single move. Do you want to dance too? Indistinctly, the man's words came from behind the summoning door. This is. Dot how is this possible? Isn't he dead? Hey, this is impure world reincarnation. Orochimaru's eyes widened, and he was shocked when he saw the man's appearance. Too strong, is this the strongest of the Uchiha family, the only guy who can compete with first generation? Orochimaru muttered to himself. Looking at the man's powerful, domineering, and confident fighting posture, he couldn't help but admire him. Is that man strong? Whitebeard asked Orochimaru. In the battle in that world, he couldn't feel the power, so he didn't know how powerful that man was. Very strong. Insanely strong. Orochimaru said without thinking. How about you? Whitebeard asked again. Ahem. I, have no qualifications to compare with him. Orochimaru said awkwardly. That is the strong man who competes with first Hokage, but he is just a disciple of third Hokage. The distance between them is much worse. Combat power is also much worse. While the two were talking, that man alone had defeated tens of thousands of ninja coalition forces. And the five strong men behind the ninja coalition are also besieging him. However, no matter how strong those five people were, they couldn't stop this man at all. Hey, Captain Su Mu, why is his move similar to your ability? When the man performs an ninjutsu that conjures up a gigantic shinigami, almost identical to Su Mu's Ares armor. Haha, <laughs> my abilities are similar to his in some respects. Su Mu laughed, and he had already confirmed it. The character the system was going to summon this time was the guy who made Su Mu very excited to meet him. This man was extremely powerful. After defeating the coalition of tens of thousands of ninjas, he repelled the five strong men one by one. However, when he was about to act again and inflict heavy damage on those five strong men, the system's call came. In his mind, the information and mission of the system have been issued. Huh, he stopped in the air and didn't continue to shoot. It's a pity, I plan to kill you all. The man sighed helplessly, turned and looked at the gate of summoning. Impure world reincarnation solution, he formed seals with both hands, performed ninjutsu, and directly untied the taboo ninjutsu of impure world reincarnation, allowing himself to recover his free body, which can be regarded as a real resurrection. He walked towards the gate of summoning, ignoring the ninja alliance and the five strong men. This surprised the ninja alliance and the five cages. However, they saw the man, walked straight into the air, and then disappeared. This, he left. Among the five strong men, a woman with a particularly large weapon clicked her tongue. However, the entire battlefield came to an abrupt end. This makes the ninja alliance feel unreal, like a dream. A disaster was avoided so quietly. In front of the gate of summoning, Sumu and others looked at the man who was crossing over. Behind him, the summoning gate closed and disappeared. This man still knows the information of every crew member because of the system information installation. He glanced at everyone coldly, and nodded slightly to Sumu. As for the others, he had an expression of contempt. These two new recruits, one is crazier than the other. Whitebeard sighed. This guy seems to be crazier than Aizen. This look makes people want to beat him up. Someone seems to be dissatisfied with me, do you know my power in my prime? The man looked at Whitebeard. That expression made Whitebeard couldn't bear it anymore. The dignified four emperors, the legendary three great pirates, who were once the strongest men in the world, how could they be so underestimated? Whitebeard strode forward, the power of the shock on his fist bloomed, and he bombarded away directly. Hee hee, you also want to attack me? The man shook his head. His eyes changed rapidly, with a sense of depth and terror. Hum, Suzano turned on, the huge Shinigami armor protecting him. Boom, Whitebeard's face was serious, feeling the great pressure. 
The terrifying meteorite was extremely fast, rubbing the air into flames. And Whitebeard's whole body strength exploded, pouring out all his strength, shouting, Break me. This, this is bigger than an island. Golden Lion said tremblingly. Whitebeard collapsed on the deck, completely out of strength. The power has been suppressed, is it the limit imposed on me by this world? The man muttered to himself. He clenched his fist and slammed it in the direction the meteorite came from. He got up, and Susano made contact, but activated another pupil spell. The meteorite, which was bigger than the island, stopped in the sky, resisted by the shock wave, and stalemate. Boom, boom, the sky split open, and a crack appeared in the clouds across the sky. This meteorite is several times larger than the meteorite summoned by Fujitora. A huge meteorite fell from the sky, the entire sky was covered by shadows, the sea was raging with strong winds, and huge waves were raging. The man stood with his arms folded and watched the show, as if the battle had nothing to do with him. In the sky, huge meteorites tore apart and fell to the surrounding sea. He showed his peak state, armament hockey flowed all over his body, and his shocking ability was brought to ultimate by him. The impact of the shocking ability sent Suzano and this man flying, causing cracks to appear in Suzano. Chapter 140 The Fifth Summoned Character, Sister Bauer Advertise here. Whitebeard was already tired from punching a meteorite bigger than an island. He gasped for breath, wanting to quickly recover his nearly depleted stamina and hockey. But fortunately, he finally smashed this guy's big move meteorite. He believed that summoning such a huge meteorite would also consume a lot of energy for that guy. However, when he looked up, the guy had both hands and half arms, and he didn't seem to be struggling at all. Huh. Whitebeard took a deep breath, stabilized his body, and stood upright again, and he took another breath of relief. What else do you have? Just come, or I will attack. Whitebeard said coldly. The man squinted at Whitebeard, then looked up at the sky. Strange, why haven't you arrived yet? He muttered to himself. The sky is nothing but scattered clouds. This made the man helplessly say again, can't even perform ninjutsu completely. Su Mu was also looking at the sky, waiting for the second meteorite, but after several minutes, the second meteorite still did not appear. It seems that this guy's strength has been suppressed a lot. Su Mu sighed, stepped between the two, and paused Whitebeard's urge to punch again. Let's stop here, you will have plenty of opportunities to learn from each other in the future. Su Mu introduced. Everyone, this arrogant guy comes from the same world as Orochimaru. His name is Uchiha Madara. He is an extremely powerful guy and extremely dangerous. If you want to learn from him, you must be cautious. Su Mu briefly introduced Lord Madara to everyone. After all, this guy is very arrogant, and he was afraid that some people would not like it. He took the initiative to challenge. That would be fun. 90% of the people on this ship would ask for trouble if they challenged Lord Madara. Even if his power is suppressed, he naturally has the power of the ceiling, and there are too many methods. Whitebeard snorted coldly, obviously not convinced. Even the rocks are jumping at it. He is not afraid of physical attacks, and he likes fighting people with violent aesthetics the most. So comparatively speaking, let him choose, he prefers to fight Lord Madara, not Aizen. Orochimaru hurried to Madara and began to introduce himself. He is four generations younger than Grandpa Madara, and since he was born, all he has heard are legends about Grandpa Madara, and he can almost be said to be his idol. Grandpa Madara was very surprised, and also met a, citizen, in this world. Although this fellow looks weak and cold to him, the adoring eyes towards him are better than those like Whitebeard who look down on him. In particular, Orochimaru took out a small bottle container and said something to Madara, which made Madara extremely excited. The two of them hurriedly left the deck and went to the special research room in the training room. Su Mu raised his forehead, it seems that even Lord Madara can't escape Orochimaru's research. As soon as he guessed, he knew that Orochimaru must have used first Hokage's cells as a bargaining chip. He wanted to obtain Uchiha Madara's cells for research, and the two each took what they needed. For Madara, with Hashirama cells, his vitality and recovery will make his chakra in an infinite state, which can be used continuously by launching Sharingan and Rinnegan. This solves a fundamental problem of strength. Okay, let's welcome another brother. Su Mu said loudly, causing everyone to be surprised. And, how many do you want to summon this time? Even the usually calm Aokiji was dumbfounded. Ahem, this is the last one for today. Su Mu was embarrassed. He didn't even think that he would get three summoning spots at once. Hopefully, there will be no more arrogant guys. Golden Lion said in a low voice. Well, hopefully a, normal person will come. Rayleigh guessed under his breath. Because the four people summoned so far are all abnormal. Tornado is extremely arrogant, violent Lolita, and extremely powerful, shooting others away at every turn. Orochimaru is gloomy and cold, thinking about the hobby of researching and expressing his opinion on other people's slices every day. Both Aizen and Madara are a problem, they are too arrogant and arrogant, no one pays attention to them. So Rayleigh hopes, a normal one will come. Otherwise, there will be more and more problematic characters on this ship. Who are you calling abnormal? Tornado angrily pulled out one of Rayleigh's beards. Said dissatisfied. Uh uh uh, you're the most normal. Rayleigh quickly relented. 
This little lowly is an unreasonable master, and he has already experienced it in the past few days. I don't know who will be next. Su Mu shook her head. For the summoned characters, the first five are determined by the system, after which he has the right to decide. And this one, happens to be the fifth. Hopefully there will be an old guy like us, otherwise it's young people, Zephyr said. The four people who have come so far seem to be middle-aged and below, and there are even Lolita. As an old guy, it's hard to communicate and mingle. I hope it will be as you wish, Su Mu said. He raised his hand and cast the power of summoning. The gate of summoning opens in the void for the third time, and the world behind the gate is a modern city. It's just that the scene changed suddenly, and a small forest appeared. In the grove, two figures were chasing and fighting. One of the small figures clearly had the upper hand, with quick and brutal skills. Everyone saw clearly that it was a little girl. His long black hair was loose, his big eyes looked dull, and his loose clothes fluttered in the wind. The shovels in her hands are her own weapons. After a while, her opponent was knocked unconscious by her. Click click click. She raised the shovel in her hand and began to dig a hole in the grove. The character summoned this time. Dot was a little girl again. Zephyr was disappointed. What's wrong with the little girl? Tornado looked over, and Zephyr immediately shut up. What is she doing? The redhead asked curiously. Idiot. She's digging, don't you see? Buggy despised the redhead. The redhead's face turned black, wishing he could hit Buggy. He naturally knew that the girl was digging a hole, but he didn't know why she was digging a hole. She wants to bury the guy who was knocked out by her. Su Mu said lightly. He already recognized the girl and knew what she was doing. This time, the system chose the world under one person. And the character summoned this time is also Sister Bauer who will never grow old. They are participating in a competition on Longhu Mountain, and she buried people in the grove, just to help the protagonist Zhang Chulin clear the obstacles. At this moment, the girl who was swinging the shovel stopped. In her mind, the system's call had already been activated, and the relevant information had also been instilled into her mind. You're lucky, I hope that kid Zhang Chulin can pass the test. She threw down the shovel helplessly, left the news of her temporary departure on the ground to Zhang Chulin, then turned to look at the gate of summoning in the sky. Whoosh. With a leap, she rushed through the gate of summoning and came to the world of pirates. Ha ha. Welcome baby. Su Mu smiled and went to the gate of summoning to meet Sister Bower, carried her down from midair, and landed on the resurrection.